Oh, that's hot. Hot, hot coffee. Hot coffee. Hot drinks this morning. Hot drinks. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. My weekend just started. I woke up an hour and a half ago, and now I'm ready to play some Sims. There's nothing better to me in the world than just waking up and going to play Sims. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Anna and Hendrick and Marta. Marta number two. <laughs> Yay! Hello, Run the Wildflowers! Hello, everybody! Hey, Nathan! Okay, guys, we're gonna have some fun today because we are playing the Grunt Family. I had to think about it for a second. We're playing the Grunt Family. Let me just ping the Discord here so I can let everybody know that I'm going live. Everybody who wants to know. Everybody who cares. <laughs> And hello everybody. I'm doing great this morning. I love Strange Town Saturday. I love morning time streams, at least morning time for me. I love doing my 10 a.m. streams because I have so much energy at 10 a.m. <laughs> and I got my hot drinks. I got my hot coffee. Oh, I think my coffee has a hair in it. That's cute. That's cute. It's probably my hair. I hope. I hope it is. <laughs> Oh, I gotta hydrate. Okay, I gotta hydrate from another girl. Yes, <laughs> road to 500k points. You can do it. <laughs> Hot drinks really get you going. I also have cold drinks. I have hot and cold. 4 a.m. Oh my God, Lily. Oh my God, that's early. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do in Strange Town is I built a new lot for Strange Town. I built a strip mall. So this is my first time ever building a strip mall and I really love how it turned out um, because I wanted to just get all the shops in there that we needed. So I built a strip mall that has a pet store, diner, a clothing store and grocery store all in one. So I'm gonna show you guys this because I wanna get it installed really quick just in case um, any of our Sims need to go to the store today. <laughs> and I think I'm going to probably delete the lot that comes with straight the I don't know what it is that community lot um thank you for the follow XR okay so I'm gonna bring you guys over to the game now here we go oh no oh no there's no game there's no game don't mind me don't mind me I'm sorry guys um yesterday I was recording for part two of my um comparison video Oh God, how do I choose it? How do I choose it? Where do I choose it? And so I was recording The Sims 2, 3, and 4. And so my obs here is still stuck on Sims 4. So there we go, now we're back to Sims 2. <laughs> hey, hey Gutted Goth, welcome. Hey Honeywell. Okay, so yeah, I know the screen was black. <laughs> the screen is as black as your soul. <laughs> And thank you so much for the raid, Shadow Wave. Thank you very much. And hello, uh, newcomers. Okay, so I'm going to put down my strip mall that I built. And we're going to... I'll show you guys what it looks like. I built it to go right here um, behind Olive's house because that was like the biggest area of flat land I could find. Although there's a lot of space in Strange Town. A lot of it's not flat and I don't like what it does to my neighborhood. So I built it right here. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked the new video. And yes, I am going to do a Sims 3 stream. So I've been thinking about that, and I'm going to talk to you guys about that. Um, but first, let me get my strip mall installed. Guys, I'm so excited. VIP Discord role means if you get to 500,000 points and you redeem it, I will give you a VIP Discord role so your name will show up above everybody else's in the Discord, except for the mods, of course. Except for the mods. They're always number one. <laughs> Oh man, I should have named it East Hills Mall. I should have named it. Good morning, my uh, Max, I'm sorry. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna give you guys a really quick tour and then we'll start playing. I don't wanna bore you too much with my builds. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you could make it. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Um, oh, I forgot it was The Sims 2's 16th anniversary on Monday. Well, I'm publishing a video on Monday. I guess that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, you'll be below. Mod Squad is, will always be first, Nathan. So here's my strip mall that I built, and I need haircut. to haircut. Haircut, thank you. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I have so many M names, Marta, Miles, Max, that I start saying your name and I'm like, I don't know, it's one of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I knew it was you. Okay, so here's the strip mall. It's got a, um, like I said, a pet shop, a restaurant, a clothing store, and a grocery store. So we could just have everything all in one because I gave up trying to make Strange Town any kind of integrated neighborhood. These are just gonna be NPC shops that our Sims can visit. So I'll show you the insides. The insides, I know you wanna see the insides. <laughs> so um, here is the pet store. And it's just very small, but it has everything that you could need for pets or to adopt pets. And there's like a little area to take care of the pets, a bathing room and a, an office. So I try to put an office in every single building or not building, but shop. So here's the restaurant. Um, I found these really cool vintage ad, vintage food ads that were done in Simlish. And I thought those were so neat to put in the restaurant. So I hung those on the wall. So anyway, this is a place where our Sims can go out to eat, go on dates and stuff like that. And there's the kitchen is back here and then the office and like employee break room. Thank you for the follow Brands. I love those paintings too. And then, okay, so that's the restaurant. And then over here we have the clothing store. I called it Bella's Boutique. <laughs> and it's just a little small clothing store um, that your Sims can use. And it has uh, jewelry and perfume and clothing and that's it. And then there's changing rooms back here and an office. <clears throat> and then over here, I have the grocery store. So it's not, I mean, it's a functional grocery store, but it's not like super in depth where you can buy stuff off the shelves. It's just the regular functionality that comes with the game. So there's the grocery area. I also have like some bread racks over here. Um, and these are functional bread racks. I found these on Mod the Zims and your Sim can buy groceries from these. So I thought that was pretty cool. And so that's the grocery. We also have, I have like a storage room back here and I got these crates off Mod The Sims and then an office as well. And then in the back, so I made kind of like a driveway so I could pretend that like this is where the delivery trucks go back behind. I made a little like loading area for the delivery trucks. And then all of the shops have a back door as well so that the they can get their shipments they can get their goods in. And also I put bathrooms in the back. So that makes it easier for everybody to get to the bathrooms. So there's just one set of bathrooms for the whole mall. So that's the tour. And then I put like some cacti back here too. <laughs> Yay, so I'm glad you guys like it. I might upload this on my blog if anybody's interested. What did you get for dinner? Bread. <laughs> I got a whole uh, grocery shopping basket full of bread. Okay, yeah, if you guys like it, I'll upload it. I kept a, it, it does have custom content, obviously, but I kept a list of everything I use and it's not too much. I think it's under like 15 or 20 items. So I can upload this in, um, with all the custom content as well with links to that. Okay, so that's that. And I, I wanna put, I don't like this strip right here, um, this strip of road. So what I like to do there is fill it in. I wanna fill it in <laughs> with a sidewalk and then some with a pavement like this. So I try to give every little shop its own little sh um, parking area like that. Cause that's how strip malls look in my, where I live. I don't know how strip malls look in other places, but this is how they look where I live. Like usually you would park in front and then you could walk down to all the stores. Anyway. Anyway, that's it. So I'm gonna save and maybe we'll be able to actually visit and hopefully everything works properly. I think it will. They're gonna, I know, I think they're gonna congregate around the office computers too. <sighs> maybe I should take the office computers out since this isn't gonna be a, a owned lot. I'm just so used to putting offices in businesses because I just feel like it needs an office. But you're right. I feel like the Sims are going to be going in there when they shouldn't. And I don't have any way to lock this as if this is an NPC. Um, if this is an NPC owned sort of lot. So I think I'm going to take the computers out, guys. Now, if I upload this, it will have computers in it. So if you use this, you might want to take them out yourself or however you want to do it. You could also have this as a Sim owned lot. But I'm going to take them out and everything's just old school here. We do everything with paper and pen. <laughs> 
<laughs> a decorative computer. That's what I need. I need a decorative computer. Does anybody know if that exists? The, these were not the Monique's computers, but you know what? You're right. Monique's computers are not are not autonomous. You are absolutely right. So you know what? I'm going to put Monique's computers in here. So I'll put that in the post that if you use this, you might want to replace the computers with Monique's computers. You're absolutely right. And that way it still looks realistic, but uh, the guests won't be all up on the computers. Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. Yeah. Good call, guys. Good call. Thank you. You guys are always making... You guys are always helping me improve. Okay, so I'm going to save that. <laughs> I love to build and I, I know I'm not the greatest builder in the world, but I enjoy doing it. Like I, it, in the evenings, I really like to build. I like to put on a podcast or a YouTube video and then I just listen and I just build away and it's like really fun <laughs> to me. Tonight, I'm going to be working on Leslie's house for our members only stream tomorrow. I'm so excited. We're going to be playing Leslie. Okay, I'm going out to the neighborhood. Okay, so I'll try to get that on the blog uh, soon, guys. Either today or tomorrow, I'll try to. <clears throat> today we are playing the Grunt family. All right, Grunt. So we have, let's see here. Yes, I did make that gin. Yes, I created the strip mall. Built the strange, I called it the Desert Sands strip mall. That's so creative, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, thanks, Max. Thanks for linking those decorative computers. That's great. Um, I'll link those in my blog post, too. How do you get rewards? Um, which kind do you mean, Brent? If you mean, if you want to get pleasant points, you just get those by watching the stream and you rack those up over time and then you can spend them in the stream. Um, if you mean like you want to do bits and stuff to cheer, there should be a little button right where it says send message in the chat. There is a little button there you can click on to get um, bits. I hope that answered your question. Oh no, I'm sorry, Mary. I'm sorry it's cutting out for you. Do you have the option to change quality settings? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. My game is like frozen right here. I don't know what's up with it. Oh, did I not change my goals? Oops. I don't think I changed my stream goals. I think that says I have like 16 subs or something like that. Okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta fix that real quick. I'm sorry. I was in such a rush this morning because I didn't wake up until 8.30. I've been waking up later and later. I used to be an early, early morning kind of person, but man, I've been waking up late. Um, so let me just fix this real quick and then we'll get into the grunt household. I have no idea what's going to happen with these guys today. I really don't. Um, there we go. Save. There we go. Now it's back to zero. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, Onyx Wings. All right, here we go. So we're going to go in. Tank has always lived under the hard thumb of his father, General Buzz Grunt. In this domesticated boot camp, can Tank take a can tank prove his worth to his demanding dad and we have never done the scripted events for this household so i believe it's just basically tank gets a job and that's it that's all we have to do and then general buzz will train buck on the obstacle course in the backyard and then everything else that happens is just going to be up to them um he's not bald he just well it looks bald right here but he's not actually You'll see when we get in there. We also need to give them makeovers, which they're all boys. So basically we're just going to be giving them eyelashes. <laughs> Here we go. So he's not bald, but he has, see, he has like a buzz cut. This is my default replacement hair buzz cut. And I actually think General Buzz looks kind of good, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, uh, She Weigh It, for converting from a Prime Gaming sub to a Tier 1 sub. Thank you very much. And let's just gussy him up a little bit. Let's just give him a little gussy. You give that hair to Tank? Yeah. <laughs> it looks bald in the, in the screenshot. Did I press play? Yeah. <laughs> he does kind of look like nervous, doesn't he? He has that same chin area. The chin and mouth, I feel like, looks the same. And, like, the narrow face. It, he kind of does. Kind of does look like nervous, in a way. 
I can see the resemblance. So let's give him some eyelashes here. We're gonna give him these right here. Now, I used to put eyelashes on my Sims based on their hair color, and then I realized these are supposed to be based on their skin color. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub, Wool Wooloot. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. So yeah, it says very dark, dark, tan, and uh, I guess this is light. And I used to think this was hair color, so now some of my Sims are going around with the wrong eyelashes, but it's actually skin color. Um, so if you use these, just a tip. So there we go, that's all we're gonna do for him. Let's check his outfit too. Um, His outfit looks pretty good. I think that looks like something that he would wear, so that's fine with me. Now let's check out uh, Buck here. Let's see, gussy up, change appearance. Oh, thank you for the follow, Nitron Owl. And he, oh, he's so cute. We saw him before when we were playing the other households, but I want to give him some eyelashes too. And he also gets the first, oh, I already did it. Okay, cool. He's good. And then let's check out Rip. Rip is so cute. Let's gussy him up. I'm not really having to do much to these guys at all. I know, I think Buck is so cute too. <laughs> He's adorable. I also think Rip is really cute. So I like this hair on him. He's got a little stubble. Did we give him eyelashes? Yes, we did. <laughs> so some of these Sims, I guess we've already gotten to. I don't remember, um, but he's good to go. And then let's check out Tank now. Okay, Tank. So I like this hair on Tank. This hair sometimes has a little transparency issue. Like you can see straight through his head, <laughs> but I don't care. It doesn't bother me that much. We'll just ignore that. And let's go ahead and give him some eyelashes. Now, I definitely don't, I think Tank would be clean shaven. He wants to be like his dad. He wants to be all proper and military-like. Um, so we're just gonna give him eyelashes. We're not gonna give him any stubble. Oh, you had Tank roll as gay? Oh, I have to check their gender preferences. Yes, 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 I have to check their gender preferences. Thank you for reminding me of that. And he's already got eyelashes too. Man, when did I do that? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> did I do that? I don't know when I did that. Okay, anyway, so Tank, did we get you your job yet? Yes, we already did this. <laughs> God, I don't know what I've already done and what I haven't, guys, I'm sorry. Um, so he already has his job, so we've already done, he's a paintball attendant, level one in the military career. He wants to get a charisma skill. Yeah, he's showing off those new lashes. Uh, so that's cool. We can work on his charisma skill, but he's got to... No, it's Sunday. He doesn't have to go to work. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so let's check gender preferences. Yep, I already have a, a sim blender here. God, I don't know. I don't remember doing any of this. <laughs> but I did, apparently. Um, so let's check... Let's see, traits. Let's check rip, um, gender preference, show preferences. Okay, so rip is straight. He's a low straight, but he's still a straight. And let's check tank. Traits, tank grunt, gender preference, show preferences. And tank is also straight and he's really straight. He has negative 10 for male and 10 for female, whereas Rip just has zero for male. So <laughs> Rip could be easy to, <laughs> to turn either way, I think, but um, Tank is pretty straight. No, I don't use the larger household mod. I don't want larger households. I can barely handle four Sims, much less more than eight. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. It's Sunday morning and we're gonna have a uh, general buzz. Oh, I remember now we did start to do the events and I was like, I don't wanna do these. And you, you guys were like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so we're gonna have him go out here and train Buck. He's gonna start training him young to become, I don't know, fit or something. I think Buck is fat. Is Buck fat? Why am I thinking that he's fat? He is, he's a fat little kid. And General Buzz is like, no, you gotta get out here and work out, <laughs> lose some weight. <laughs> I, need a, I need a drill instructor to make me run an, an obstacle course because that's the only way I'm gonna work out. 
I did work out the other day and then I got so sore and I was like, I hate this. Why did I do this? <laughs> He's gonna be thin now, yeah. Mm. Oh, I gotta, I gotta fix the, uh, the flooring. Yes, thank you guys. Let me do that real quick. I'm like, there's no excuse for you not to be working out, Cindy. At least do a little bit of exercise, God. And then I did it, and then I'm like, oh yeah, this is why I don't do it. <laughs> I'm trying to get better, though. I'm trying to get better. I've been walking around my neighborhood. It's been very cool here lately. It actually snowed. I know I told you guys that, but it was just so shocking that it snowed here. But it's been very nice and cool, so it's been really great taking walks in the morning. And when it's like 60 degrees, I love it. <laughs> you love sweet fat boy buck. <laughs> oh, that, I, oh, oh. Where am I going? Where am I going? He got himself a skill point. Good for you. Yeah, it snowed in September. It was the earliest snow in 130 years in my area ever that's ever been recorded. And then before that, we had the hottest day ever recorded. And then we had the earliest snow. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but now it's hot again. I work out at home. I don't go to the gym. I hate going to the gym, but I work out at home. I do like, I walk, first I walk for 30 minutes around my neighborhood and then I do like, I do weights. I do free weights at home, but I do not do it regularly as I should. I'm telling you, I gotta get myself better. Okay, so we got Buck through the obstacle course. Let's see what else we can do. What else can we do? He wants to make a friend. And I believe he was getting to know Jill. And let's see, when does he age up, y'all? Three days. So he's actually nine. I gotta put the ages in. Oh, God. Um, Buck is nine. Rip is 16. Oh, what am I doing? No. Oh, they're already in here fighting, y'all. They're already in here fighting. Tank is... Also 16, so they're the same age. And before you ask, it's because I use a, uh, I use my own personal aging system and this is the ages that they ended up. We're just gonna call them Irish twins, okay? They were born like nine months apart, I don't know. But they're both 16 now. Sorry, I had to get my chapstick going there. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Anastasia Morningstone. And then, let's see. 28 days until an elder. So that makes him 32. 32. So Buzz is 32. How is he third? Okay, is that too young? Is he 32 and he has 16 year old? That means he had his kids when he was 16? Ouch. Well, that's what that's how it is. So that's what that's what we're working with. <laughs> Yep, it is young, but, you know, I know plenty of people who are 32 with three kids. My sister's one of them. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm I'm leaving the ages. I don't care. He had him at 16. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe that's why he joined the military. He had kids at 16. He's like, I got to do something with my life. I'm joining the military. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with the age. I don't care that much, guys. I don't care that much. And um, I ran neighborhood age correct, and this is the age we got. So I don't know. I guess I could make him like four years older. Would that make you guys feel better if we, or we could add like three years to it? We can add three. That's what we'll do. We'll add three days. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's do aging. Um, Three days older for Buzz. Okay, so he was 19 when he had kids. And I don't think that that's too unrealistic for somebody who went into the military like this. So I'm keeping him. That makes him 35. So that'll work. That'll work. He was a young dad for sure. There we go. So now he's 35. Okay. The girl you work with had her third kid and she just turned 20. <laughs> wow that's rough that's rough okay and his hobby is sports okay so i already checked everybody's hobbies 
General Buzz's hobby is boxing. We're just gonna watch these two fight. General Buzz's hobby is is boxing. Um, Tank's hobby is stargazing, and Rip's hobby is sculpting. So we really need to get him a sculpting thingy. And then I don't know what uh, Buck's hobby is yet, so we're gonna have to wait and see. And let's, aw, that shirt clips whenever he bends over and cries. That kind of bothers me. Look at that face. Look at that cute little face. All right, so I'm gonna get him a sculptor's thing if they have enough money. I don't know if they have enough money. Let's check and see. I think that's under miscellaneous somewhere down here. I think it's expensive. Is that it? Pottery wheel, 1,000. Okay, that's not too much. That's not too much. I'm hoping that Tank gives Buzz his first green grandchild. I really am. <laughs> Thank you so much for the prime sub, Dita. So let's see, which room is gonna be Rip's? I think we should give Rip this room. I think this is supposed to be Rip's room. But we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to move things around here. We're gonna move this like this. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna put the pottery wheel over here. So that is for Rip and Rip only, and I'm gonna lock his door because I don't want everybody getting up in here and using the pottery wheel. Because they will, I know they will. So we're gonna lock, allow me only. And I'm gonna do the same thing for all the boys' rooms so that they sort of have their own space. So this is, um, this is, Tank's room. I can't remember their names. This is Tank's room. No, no, no. This is Buck's room. Oops, oops. This is Buck's room. It has a toy box in it. And this is Tank's room over here, which has absolutely nothing in it because I guess he has no personality right now. <laughs> allow me only and lock allow me only. They have two bathrooms up here that they have to share. And then this room here is for General Buzz to practice his boxing um so yeah that's right i don't want other sims using the sims hobby objects i can't stand it although i am gonna leave the exercise room open because i feel like the boys could come in here and exercise if they want to that i'm fine with that but for the pottery wheel no yes tank does have his own bathroom yes he does he's special but also anybody can use it if they come in through the uh exercise room and then also another thing i want to do is lock this room because I don't want the boys coming in here using the computer. I feel like General Buzz, he's pretty strict. He doesn't want the boys using the computer without him being present. He doesn't want them, he doesn't want them being corrupted by the internet or something. I don't know, I feel like he's that kind of strict parent. You ever have a friend who had parents like that, that were super strict? I used to have a friend in high school, her parents wouldn't even ever let her go anywhere. Or she couldn't go spend the night anywhere. She couldn't go out. I mean, we were like 16 years old. She couldn't go out anywhere. She couldn't go to the movies or anything. Was, they were super strict. And she probably went crazy when she got out of that house. She probably went wild. Okay, so we're going to lock this. Allow me only. And there's like this weird hallway that goes to his room. <sighs> that seems unnecessary. Allow me only. And then this is a bathroom for anybody to use. Okay. I think we got the house set up now. Hello, Daydreamer. Hope you're having a great day, too. Yes, they threw out the double bed. He only has a single bed, which I think is kind of odd. And I don't even know if this room can fit a double bed. It's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. Um, but yeah, we could get a double bed in there. It'd be a tight squeeze, but we could get a double bed in there. He also has no dresser. What? Why does he have no dresser? He has a bookshelf. Okay, we're gonna get him a dresser. I can't stand that. You gotta have somewhere to put your clothes, right? Um, it doesn't have to be much, just a small little dresser here. That's fine. Just, you gotta have something. Let's get him a mirror. Let's put, I'm gonna put some clothes on there. Nice and neat and tidy. Let's get him a mirror. I didn't think I was gonna be making over the house, but you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> He only has one outfit confirmed. <laughs> Do the boys have dressers? Yeah, see, all the boys have dressers for their clothes, but General Buzz had nothing. I got him a tiny little dresser. He wears the same thing every day. <laughs> they had 
to go to the toilet and finish their meal there when they misbehaved? Oh God, that's awful. Okay. Oh, you don't know whose bed is whose? Well, I always give this room to, to um, Rip because it has the posters and stuff and I feel like it just looks like it would be his room more. And then of course, this one's Bucks because it has the toy box. So that leaves this one for Tank. That's just how I do it. You redeem memes? Well, good for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you for the follow, textbook, and thank you for the follow, Kino. Okay, we'll do a meme real quick then. So I did double the cost of the memes and commercial breaks so that the whole stream wouldn't be memes and commercial breaks. <laughs> so maybe we'll have a few fewer, but we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll do a meme real, really quick like. That's how you do the rooms too. Yeah, I think it makes the mo most sense, honestly. Okay, let's see what we've got here. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, here's one from Ari. My Sim asking a townie to move in. You realize that we will age as these mortals do. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that's funny thank you for sharing that and since we see one here from nikki oh we i think i already did that one i already did that one okay okay so that's the meme and we'll go we'll do more memes later on and i gotta hydrate okay <laughs> you thought the downstairs rooms was tank it could be the downstairs room could be tanks too you could do it either way really because you could you could make this room tanks and the upstairs room uh, could be general buzzes. I just like the upstairs room to have, I like all the boys to be upstairs. I don't know why, just personal preference. I don't know why there's a flower picture in his room though. I don't really like that. I wanna put something else in there. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would like a flower picture. I think his, his specific personality, I don't think it fits. You know what I'm saying? He looks like a guy who has a lot of medals and put them all on his dinner table. <laughs> what kind of picture could we put? We'll put a car picture. How about that? I was I'm I was building in The Sims 4 and now I I want to resize everything now. Because when I come in The Sims 2, I'm like I want to make that bigger. And I try to make it bigger, but it doesn't work. <laughs> You're 5% of the way there. <laughs> He could, he could, he could have a, a hidden uh, sensitive side. All right, guys, let's start playing and see what happens. These two, it's gonna be like playing Lilith and Angela with these two. They're constantly gonna be fighting with each other. It's really annoying. Let's take care of Tank. Tank, you need to go to the bathroom. No, 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 no fighting, no fighting. Oh, thank you so much for the prime sub. Well, Gab, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we have a lot of days to play. We have like five days to play, or yeah, five. Irish twin squabbles. So Tank is going to the bathroom and he needs some social. Let's have him go talk to his dad. Stop that. Rip is like bullying him. Why did you walk all the way around? Oh, you went in the bathroom, okay. Okay, I see what you're doing. Now he's walking all the way back around. That was, that was just dumb, Buzz, I don't know. Um, Tank will go to college if he wants to go to college. Um, but oh my gosh, I don't think I have a college a attached. Uh-oh, I don't think I have a college attached. Hold on. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because they're gonna age up in two days and I don't think I have a college attached. I think we need to do that. Thank you for the follow, huge lunatic. Oh, hello. <laughs> I recognize you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna play till second summer. We're gonna play for five days um, because it's, we have four days left in spring. Actually, we're gonna play for four days. I thought we were playing for five, but we're playing for four days because there's four days left in spring. As soon as it, cha okay, wait, this is weird. What season are we supposed to be on? <laughs> I think we're playing till first summer. Are they all, are they on a different season than everybody else? We're playing till first summer. The end of spring, okay. Okay, we're playing till first summer, not second summer. I am off on our seasons. I changed the season when I was here last. Why did I do that? 
we should be at the last day of spring. Okay, um, let's change that because I was like, that doesn't make sense. Let's change that. Um, let's see, where's my season thingy? Okay, hold on, hold on. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Um, day setter, season and weather controller. Is this the one I need? Why did I put it under the table? I'm sorry, guys. We're going to get this straightened out really soon. Yeah, I'll be playing the same way in La Fiesta Tech as I did as I do in Pleasant View. Yeah. Um, so set season set sync. OK, that's not what I need. That's not what I need. It needs to be spring, but it needs to be the last day of spring. So we're going to use day setter. And so it needs to be. I don't know how to do this, guys. What are your suggestions for how to do this? If I change the day, that's not going to change the season, the day left in the season, though. Hmm. What are your suggestion suggestions, guys? Because I don't know how to do this. I know, I know, day setter won't change it. I know. The seasons controller and then choose days left. I can, okay, hold on, let me see. Um, seasons controller. Set season length. Okay, no. Set season. Season length and season controller. Um, okay, so if I set this season to one day and then what, set it back to four days when it gets to summer? Is that the best, the best way? Oh, thank you so much for the two months, Kayla. <sighs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, what I said, Marta, <laughs> you guys are all telling me different stuff. <laughs> said it so, okay, one day, one day left in spring. Okay, and then when it gets to summer, we have to make sure, I'm gonna leave that out. We have to make sure that it's four days once we get to summer. I think that should do the trick. I think that should do the trick. Okay, I'm gonna save now. And then I wanna go out, I need to attach the college. Um. Oh, I got a save game, which I just did. And once I change the season length, it'll proceed like normal. Okay. All right. So, no, it needs to be one day left in spring because that's how it should be. That's how it should have been for the whole, uh, for them to be the same age as everybody else. It needed to be one day left in spring and then four days of summer. So we play them for a total of five days. So I need to play this last day of spring. And let's go out to the neighborhood and let me attach the college before I forget. That way, if they do want to go to college, we have somewhere to actually send them. So I have the colleges that I have are empty. There's no dormies or anything in them. We just need to attach it. Um, let's see. Where's the university? Click to add university. We're going to add La Fiesta Tech, of course. And I am playing it empty because someday I might want to play the La Fiesta Tech students separately. And I don't want to mix them in with Strange Town because then they don't age properly and it's a whole thing. So let's play. Um, the mod is probably in the Discord if you search. But it's called Seasons and Weather Controller. So you might you could if it's not there, you can probably find it from Google. Alright, there's La Fiesta Tech. Let me make sure it worked that everything's empty. Looks like everything is empty. Looks like we don't have any Sims here. Okay, great. So back to Strange Town we go. <laughs> and I think we've got everything worked out now. Yeah, I've played Agnes a little bit in The Sims 3, yeah. It's kind of sad. It's kinda, her story's very sad. I hope not, Kristen. I hope not. <laughs> um, it's new copies for everyone that you attach. It'll be a different, it'll be a new copy. It won't be the same. It won't be the same college. All right, here we go back to the grunt. <laughs> Justice for Stella. <laughs> 
I like uh, I like playing college in The Sims 2 and I really don't like playing it in The Sims 3. It works better in The Sims 2. I'm st I still got to work out something for The Sims 3. How I'm going to play it. So finally, we're ready to actually play. We've got everything straightened out. We're only 40 minutes in. <laughs> oh, Meadow's in love with Dirk. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, what is Buzz doing? He's going to the bathroom upstairs. Buzz, you were so weird. Aw, now these two, we gotta do something about this. Everybody has to pee. Okay, you know what? Stop it, stop it. Go make something to eat. This is gonna be really annoying for the next two days. I'm gonna have to keep these two off of each other. <sighs> and you know what? You need to go work on your charisma. So why don't you go upstairs, start working on your charisma skill over here. I was like, oh, you know what? I was gonna have him talk to his dad. That's what I was gonna do because he needs social. So I'm really hoping that we can find General Buzz at a companion, especially as the boys get older and move out. Um, General Buzz is a jerk, yeah, but you know, everybody deserves love. So let's hope we can find somebody for him. Um, let's go talk to your dad. All Tank wants in the world is for his dad to be proud of him, but his dad is like super critical and kind of a jerk. Um, Buzz and Bella can happen if that's what happens. You guys know I don't force it. I don't force it. If he wants to be with Bella, he can. But he doesn't know her right now. He doesn't know anybody. Um, he really hates Johnny Smith and he doesn't get along with Rip, but he has no romantic prospects. So maybe we'll have to send him down to the strip mall <laughs> and see who he can meet. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Shibs. We're gonna have to send him out because he honestly doesn't know anybody. Um, he wants to no you're not getting a talent badge in in uh pottery <sighs> he wants to play with general buzz okay let's see let's see if we can fulfill that um tickle your dad <laughs> tickle buzz let's see how that works out <laughs> i i let buzz shoot buzz has his choice he can choose whoever he wants my personal favorite is crystal vu <laughs> for him but and they always fight a lot but it's kind of entertaining but he gets to choose his partner um so yes tickle your dad <laughs> he was like who me yes you tickle <laughs> and okay so now he just wants to get a skill point he's got some social let's have him eat a sandwich and then he can start working on his charisma skill and then we can focus on somebody else. So Rip desperately needs to go to the bathroom. Rip wants to flirt. So we also can try and find Rip a partner or at least somebody to flirt with since he's a romance sim. Um, I don't know. He doesn't know anybody either. <laughs> he doesn't know anybody to flirt with either. <laughs> your, your name goes to Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I wouldn't mind Buzz having an affair with Chloe. <laughs> he can have an affair with whoever he wants to. It's going to be interesting to see who he chooses. So, you know what? Rip, do you have to go to work today? Um, yes. So, he's got to go to work in like 15 minutes. So, we can't do anything with him today. Buzz needs Melba's help. <laughs> He does, actually. See, see, now this is a time when Melba could come in handy. Hey, maybe we should do that. Well, he doesn't really have any wants for that right now. He doesn't even have any wants to meet anybody. He just wants to earn money and work out. Okay, let's try to fulfill some of his wants and see if we can encourage him to roll some wants for romance or at least making a friend. How does it feel to be noticed on Twitter by Rod Humble? I know, I got followed on Twitter by Rod Humble. Um, I, at first, I didn't think it was really him. I was like, Rod Humble followed me. And then I was like, um, this can't really be the real him, can it? I thought it was like somebody impersonating him. But then I went and looked, it's really him. It's actually him. I don't know. I was I was felt honored by that. Thank you, Rod. Where's my free computer? <laughs> just kidding <laughs> I don't know that was crazy 
Okay, so what did I just say? Oh, commercial break. We got a commercial break. He didn't give me a computer. I was severely disappointed. <laughs> okay, let's do commercial break, guys. Yeah, he does have chemistry with Crystal Vu. That's true. That's true. Um, but they usually fight a lot in my game, though. <laughs> it's like a, it's a very, I don't know what the word is. It's like one of those love-hate relationships if they get together. Okay, so let me see what we've got. Um, oh, you can only view the spreadsheet, Max. Okay, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. Let me see what kind of commercial break we have going on here. I got to change it. I think I just have it as view only, Max. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm, talk I'm only talking to you. Let me see what kind of My Sims official trailer. Oh, I want to watch this. I want to watch this. This might get us the copyright, but I don't care. I want to watch it. Uh, my Sims official trailer because I've never played My Sims before. Okay, hold on, hold on. Have you guys ever played My Sims? Toxic, that's the word. Yes, thank you. Crystal Vu is pregnant and engaged. Oh, crap. <laughs> guys, I don't remember what's going on in my own neighborhoods. Crystal Vu, who's Crystal Vu engaged to? Is Crystal Vu engaged to Laszlo? Did that happen? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't write it down in my spreadsheet. <laughs> Crystal and Laszlo, oh my God, I forgot. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's watch uh, My Sims. Let's watch My Sims. <laughs> this is the sims we're talking about who cares who cares if she's pregnant and engaged that's true so buzz probably will not choose her um since she's with somebody else but we'll see i gotta write i gotta start writing this stuff down y'all i got to i'm playing five neighborhoods right now so it's really kind of sometimes hard to remember what's going on with every single family i try to keep notes to remind myself my kind of game to be honest with you but i'm glad i got to see it there so thank you for sharing that trailer. That was a that was our commercial. <laughs> Nostalgia. Yeah, I guess if you played this as a kid. I remember my Wii. I used to love that Wii. I had like an exercise game on the Wii. And I thought it was so fun at the time. <clears throat> the Sims 2 DS. People always ask me to play that. And I'm like, nah. I never had a DS, so. Okay, so what I want to do, what I want to focus on, Rip and Tank are gone to work. Uh, Buck is hanging out. Let's have Buck call Jill and talk to her on the phone. Where the heck is the phone in this house? Oh, there it is. Let's have him call and talk to Jill so he can work on making friends with her. And then Tank here, we're going to work on fulfilling as many of his wants as we possibly can to hopefully encourage him to get some wants to meet someone new or have some romance in his life. <clears throat> It's a gateway drug to PC Sims. Yes, exactly right. So we're hoping that Buck and Jill will get together, but we don't know what Buck's gender preference is going to be yet. And I'm not inviting her over because General Buzz does not uh, does not approve of the Smith family because he's a jerk. And let's have him go up and work out on the exercise machine because that's what he wants to do. Oh, I will save. I will save. Sims 2 DS is a weird game, not like the PC. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like the PC game from what I've seen, but I've never played it, so I can't judge it fairly. He know Buzz knows Tycho. Oh no, uh, Buck does. Buck knows Tycho. That's true. That's true. Our little, our little tiny used car salesman. <laughs> Tycho's so freaking cute. I can't stand it. <laughs> I, a lot of people really did like The Sims 2 uh, Strange Town on DS. People always ask me about that. You don't like the new characters? A lot of people do like the, do like them, but I don't know. I've never played it, so I can't say for sure. Because I never had a DS. Um, I do think that I have. we have a DS now somewhere, in like a drawer somewhere. Because I remember that Mr. Pleasant got one like several years ago. And then, like, he didn't like it that much, so we, we didn't ever really play with it. 
He's xenophobic. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right. So, oh, he worked out. Okay, what does he want to do now? Oh, oh, yes. He wants to meet someone new. He wants to invite someone over. And he wants to dance with someone. All right. Okay, so Buzz, he's getting lonely, y'all. He's getting lonely. What should we do? What should we do? Should we call up Melba or should we send him out? What do you guys want to do? We want to call Melba or we want to send him out to meet somebody? I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll and you guys tell me what you want to see. So, oh, no, that was a, that was an old poll. Out or in? <laughs> That's the poll. Send him out or call Melba. Okay, here's the poll. You guys got one minute to vote. It, we're voting on ta on, uh, on General Buzz. On General Buzz, he wants to meet someone new and he wants to dance. So do we want to send him out on the town to try to meet somebody? Or do we want to call up Melba and try to get a match for him? So you guys vote. I know you love Melba. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> a good PSP emulator? I don't know. I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure they're out there. I never had a PSP either. We have 4,000 simoleons, so we don't have a lot for Melba. I would probably only give Melba like 2,000, so keep that in mind. I would probably only give her like 2,000 because I need some money to live on. I mean, he makes pretty good money too. Let's see. He makes 550 a day. And he still works four days a week. So that's a good chunk. That's a good chunk. Okay, let me view results. Okay, you guys want Melba. You guys want Melba. 60% of you voted for Melba. So that's what we're going to do. Melba it is. Let's have him go. He's been working out. He's all pumped up. He's ready to go. Let's go call. Oh, no, Buck's on the phone. Buck, you got to get off the phone. Um, Get off the phone so we can call Melba. He still didn't become friends with Jill. Oh my gosh, they're so close to becoming friends. Hold on. They're so close. They're so close. <laughs> date Melba. <laughs> he can date Melba. <laughs> Good call. How are they not friends yet? Okay, uh, hang up. Hang up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Daddy's more important. <laughs> Your daddy needs to call Melba. Get off the phone, son. Oh, he's got to take a shower. I guess I could have had him. I could have let him keep talking. That's okay. Um, he's gonna take a shower. He's getting. Fr he's freshening up, getting ready, getting ready for the for the evening. Going on a blind date. <laughs> it's daddy time. <laughs> that sounds so horrible. Oh, I gotta unban Melba. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's unban Melba. Okay, let me get the uh, visitor controller. We're going to allow Melba to come onto the lot for this one time. Um, NPCs, allow matchmaker. All right, Melba, you're up. And then as soon as he gets out of the shower, we'll have him call. Is it a service? I guess it's a service. Obviously, I don't do this very often. I really don't do the matchmaker very often, but this is one situation where I think we kind of need it. Because we have no idea who he, he's going to get with. Okay, it's 6 p.m. So everybody's aged. And that means that Grunt is now 36. Grunt? Buzz. <laughs> I just called him Grunt. Buzz is 36. Tank and Rip are 17. And Buck is 10 years old. Okay, and it looks like, oh, who, who, got, who, uh, who got how much money? I got to keep up with the boy's money. So if they get up to 100, they can take it with them. Um, Tank here got 25 simoleons. Thank you for the follow, Dez. And Rip got 35. So I'm going to write that down in my spreadsheet. If they can manage to get up to 100 somehow, um, they can take that money with them. But if not, too bad because you can only take multiples of 100. I mean, I guess I could use family funds to set it or something, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that for under 100. And so tomorrow we get to find out if the boys are going to college. Oh my gosh, he wants to have his very first kiss. Ah, I gotta lock that in. He wants no hamsters, Buzz. <laughs> no hamsters. Okay, matchmaking service, guys. I'm excited. 
I'm excited. Yes. Did Tank roll any good wants? No. I can sense you were looking for someone to spend the rest of your days with. Do you require my matchmaking services? Yes. Yes, we do. We want those services. I will be over shortly then. Your future is rapidly approaching. <laughs> Thank you, Melba. Thank you, Melba. Okay, what are the boys doing? We gotta get a Rip wants to have his very first kiss, y'all. We gotta get on that. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have time to do it before he goes to college, if he goes to college. <laughs> Melba, where are you? I'm w oh, here she comes. Her name's Dorothy, actually. We gotta re- hold on. Come here. We gotta rename her. <laughs> Can we rename her? Uh... I want to rename her. Can I do it with the Sim Blender? Tr How do you do it with the Sim Blender? Names. Change someone's first name. <laughs> yes. Yes. I hope this doesn't make my game crash. I feel like I've done this before and it made my game crash. Um, what's her name? Dorothy? C. D. No Dorothy's. Dorothy Lee. Um, we're going to change her first name. <laughs> we're going to change it to Melba. <laughs> Get out of here, Dorothy. Your, your name is now Melba. There we go. All right. So let's have a Tank come and greet her. <laughs> come on. Come on. My coffee's getting cold, but I don't care. Come on out here in the rain and meet Melba. <sighs> what do you want to do? Get a bronze? They always want to get a pottery badge when the pottery... We need to send Rip to start working on his pottery. We have to remember to send that to college with him, too. Okay, so he greeted Melba. Now let's ask for blind dates. Oh, I'm so excited. He's getting really sleepy, but I don't care. <laughs> I want my date to be a female. He's straight. Okay. We're going to give her 2100 Okay. We're going to give her like half of the household funds. Um, I want them to keep at least half. So here we go. I'm going to send Rip upstairs to work on his pottery. Don't worry. Don't worry about him. When it comes to a good match, I've seen better and I've seen worse. Maybe you will have a chance. Oh, that's that doesn't sound good. Out by the street light in the middle of the night. <laughs> Ooh, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh no, the house! Oh my God, it's a garden lady. Oh, come here. Okay, so the house just caught on fire. The rain's gonna put it out, guys. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's the gardener. It's the garden. Nancy Phillips. Nancy Philippine. <laughs> Nancy Philippine. Okay. Let's. I want to see if they have uh, any chemistry. But first, everybody's got to freak out about the fire. He paid twenty one hundred for Nancy Philippine. I hope she's a good match. Okay. Let's greet her. Let's greet her. Hello, Nancy. Hello, my name's Buzz. I'm lonely. How are you? Oh, no, they have no chemistry. Ah, crap. He just spent 2,000 simoleons on a date with no chemistry. I should have paid more. Should have paid more. That sucks. That sucks so bad. I'm going to keep interacting with her. Um, but first, I got to take care of Rip here because he's just being an idiot. I'm going to have him come up, take a shower, and work on your pottery and then tank i just want to take care of the boys here oh is he still down here working on his chemistry i mean on, on his charisma he got his charisma skill he wants to invite somebody over no you're not doing that go take a shower um use the bathroom i just want to get them like started on some activity so we don't have to think about them for a while and poor little buck fell asleep on the couch let's get him up to his room um, okay, you gotta get, you gotta wake up. You gotta wake up. Okay, now get up here, sleep in pajamas. Now let's look at uh, Buzz's turn-ons and turn-offs as well. Because I'm curious to know, oops. 
Okay, he likes blonde hair and glasses, and he doesn't like logic. He doesn't want a logical woman. He wants a woman who does what she's told. <laughs> Change Melba's name to canceled. <laughs> you guys wanted Melba, and look what she did. Look what she did. Okay, he wants to play with Nancy. So let's just try to get something out of this. Let's see if we can we can salvage this at all. Um, he can't. Can he play with her? Play catch. That's all he can do. <laughs> hey, I know we just met and all, and it's raining, but you want to play catch? I mean, they look like they're getting along, but I don't know. They don't have any romantic chemistry. Yes, you. I know. I don't think this is gonna work. Um, I think we might have to send uh, him out tomorrow. Okay, Melba, thanks a lot for nothing. You can go now. <sighs> now she's canceled all of a sudden. Appre he wants to appreciate Nancy. Okay, hold on. Let's appreciate Nancy. Can I not appreciate her? He can't appreciate her? Okay, well, you can't. So I guess just talk to her again. I like how Milba just keeps stalking around out here. Just in case, I guess she's going to chaperone the date. <laughs> I know, we didn't pay her enough, guys. We didn't pay her enough. 2000 is not enough. Okay, he wants to entertain, so let's do a joke. Tell her a joke. You think Melba likes Buzz? That must be it, Mary. He gave her a bunk date on purpose. He gave her a bad date. <laughs> Well, you know what? Nothing is... This isn't gonna work. There, make that. I don't care. Make that. This is not gonna work out, unfortunately. I don't know. They didn't, they didn't actually go on a date. Usually when you call the matchmaker, do they actually go on a date? I never call the matchmaker. This is so annoying with this stupid tree catching on fire. Oh, the date ended because of the fire. Yeah, so this just didn't work out. This just wasn't our day. And I think he's getting tired. So we're gonna say goodbye to everyone. And you can get you can get on out of here. We don't need you anymore, Melba. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for Buzz. And he spent half of his family's money on this, on this endeavor. <laughs> I thought they went on a date. Yeah, it must've been the fire. Okay, dismiss and ban. Exactly, dismiss and ban. Okay, ban NPCs. Oh my gosh, I know you stink. Ban matchmaker. All right, so tomorrow we're just gonna have to send him out on the town. Let's see. He has to work for the next four days, so it's going to be kind of rough. I was really hoping that was going to work out. That's really disappointing. But oh well. Oh well. There needs to be a shower in this in this room. But now I don't dare spend any of their money. <laughs> yes. Through the burning bush, this date sucks. <laughs> and let's check on the boys here. Okay, guys, get out of here. Rip, you go to sleep. Everybody just go to bed. How about that? Everybody just freaking go to bed. Tank, you need fun. What is his hobby? Stargazing? Oh, they don't have a telescope. His hobby is stargazing. I really wish he would get abducted. We're going to have to buy him a telescope. I at least want to buy them their hobby objects. Uh, where am I going? Telescope. How much is this one? Oh, no, we can't afford that one. We're just going to have to give him the cheap one. We can't afford the 2100 right now. So he's just going to have to have the cheap telescope. Go stargaze. Don't fight with your brother. They have a telescope? Where? I don't see one. Is it up here? Oh, it's probably up here. Ah, crap. Okay, let's sell that back. <laughs> I never put the walls up that far. Okay, never mind. Go stargaze here. Go get struck by lightning. <laughs> That's awesome. We didn't even have to spend any money. I think it would be funny if Tank had an alien baby 
or not funny, but interesting, if Tank had an alien baby. That's, I think that would be really interesting because that would force Bose to take a look at himself and his beliefs. After he gets out of the shower, I'm just going to send him to bed. Everybody's just going to bed. Today was a bust. I hope for an alien baby. I always want alien babies, but I don't have teen pregnancy, so Tank can't get pregnant right now. But maybe, maybe someday in the future. He's very excited that he tried that science activity. So he needed fun really bad, so I'm going to let him stargaze for a bit, and then we'll send him to bed. Oh, thank you so much for the four months, Zinnia. Thank you so much. <laughs> and hello. Oh, radio station. Oh, my God. I missed your radio station 10 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll change. I'll turn it on salsa for you tomorrow. I shouldn't. You wanted salsa for the date, didn't you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you got to tell me if I miss it. But um, we'll turn it on salsa tomorrow for you. Yeah, I think if he had an alien grandchild, that would help to make him, you know, change a little bit and examine him, his look inside himself and make those changes he needs to make. All right, Tank, it's time for you to go to sleep. Everybody go to bed. Everybody go to bed. Tomorrow is a school day and a work day. And we'll try to work on some more of these relationships. And we'll also be finding out if a Rip and Tank will be going to college in the morning if they roll the once, which I think they will. They usually do. Um, it's like really rare that one of my Sims doesn't want to go to college, but it happens. It happens. Oh, wow. That's interesting, Max. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's Sims fan fiction. There sure is. There's some good and some bad. <laughs> All right, I just want to get through the night and let me save too. I always like to save. I'm in the habit of saving at night when everybody's asleep. The only time that I get out of that habit is if I have a really crazy household where, where not everybody goes to bed at the same time. Yep, I'll adjust seasons. I'll see if I need to adjust seasons once it changes over to first summer. So that should be happening any moment now. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, not not yet. Here it comes. Okay, so now it's no, now it's it goes back to normal. Okay. So now we have 4 days left in summer. When it gets to second summer, we'll be done. Okay, so that's how you handle that. So I can sell the weather controller now. Hey, here comes Johnny just sauntering down the street. Hey, Johnny, looking good. <laughs> Johnny's like one of my favorite Sims in Strange Town. He's so cute. Are you going to knock over this trash can? Johnny, don't be a jerk, okay? Don't be a jerk. Somebody's going to have to clean that up or this family's going to get sick. I know. Damn, Johnny, you hot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, I'm going to keep an eye on this trash can. That's what I'm watching for. Okay, who's waking up first? Who's going to come clean up the trash can? Okay, yes. So uh, Rip wants to go to college. So I'm going to unlock his have very first kiss. And we're going to go to college instead. <laughs> he can have his very first kiss in college, I guess. That's kind of sad. Johnny, angry Johnny, this is... Jezebel in hell. Anybody know that song? Just me? I'm the only one who likes 90s music. <laughs> okay, Rip. Uh, go to the bathroom. Get something to eat. I don't know. Somebody needs to clean this house up. I'm just having Rip do all the cooking. Go make some fruit parfait for everybody. Let's check on the other guys. So General Buzz is up again back in the bathtub. He wants to go to work earn some money so nothing very helpful to us and then tank um wants to gain a logic skill points and he does not want to go to college yet though oh my god maybe he just wants to go in the military and he doesn't want to go to college well he has until like 5 p.m to change his mind oh johnny you're so fine you're so fine you blow my mind hey johnny <laughs> <laughs> the music
music is older than you. I know it is. I know it is. <laughs> All right, so the paper's here. I don't know why that matters. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Esther, for the paper. Let's check on Buck. Buck, we need to take care of your needs before you go to school, buddy. Go use the bathroom. Um, and then you might... I don't think you're even going to have time to eat. Nobody's going to have time to eat. They got to go to school in like 30 minutes. <clears throat> well, Rip uh, tried. He tried to make breakfast for the family. So this is going to... Things are going to be a little bit easier once the boys either move out or go to college. And then we're just going to have Buzz and Buck to take care of. <clears throat> um, secondary aspirations. The only person who has a secondary aspiration right now is Buzz, and his secondary is Fortune. Um, Buck, I don't give my Sim secondary aspirations until they become adults, so he's the only one who has one. Okay, everybody gets a school. Get to school. And then we'll have Tank clean this up, put away leftovers, put away leftovers. And clean all this up. He was talking to a rip there. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, Sims fanfics are definitely a thing. Yeah, you there used to be a lot of them like on Live Journal. Um stuff like that. I don't know. There was some other thing people used to use like that. I don't know. I don't I don't read a lot of fa fanfic, to be honest with you. Tank is in love with Johnny and your fanfic. <laughs> yeah, they can go wild. They can definitely go wild. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, uh, Princess Uni. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's the Draco, Malfoy, and Harry Potter of the Sims universe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, the helicopter is here to pick up uh, the general. He's going to work in his very own helicopter. I love this so much. <laughs> He's so important. He's so very important. I love the Leftovers mod. I cannot live without it. I have to have that Leftovers mod. I mean, ever since I started playing with it, that's like a must-have. I'm going to move that up to the must-have mod section. <laughs> Fanfic is the only way you can read. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. He cleaned up the leftovers. What? Oh, he was like, I don't, I'm not going to eat this food that Rip cooks. Okay, well, now we're just waiting. Look, he wants to be friends with Melba. <laughs> he wants to be friends with Melba, y'all. <laughs> no, no. No, General Buzz. No. <laughs> Okay, so the boys are home from school, and let's see if Tank rolled the want to go to college yet. <laughs> Buzz and Melba. No, I won't allow it. <laughs> and Tank brought a friend home from school. He brought home Blair Mace. I guess Blair Mace is going to college with us then. <laughs> and he's, he's got the bowl cut, doesn't he? I think Blair has the bowl cut. Melba's. <laughs> That is hilarious. No, he doesn't want to go to college, y'all. I don't think Tank is going to go to college. Okay, well, he wants... Let's try to fulfill some wants, okay? I'm really going to focus on Tank and try to get him to go to college. Um, Rip is going, though. We might just have one Sim in college. <laughs> but Tank has a friend, yes, and I don't want to lose that opportunity. Um, he needs to go to the bathroom, and then we've got to have him uh, be friends with Blair. Okay. Um, so let's go talk and chat, or, yeah, chat with him. Let's look at Blair. This, this haircut, y'all, he looks like a monk from the 1500s. <laughs> this is just so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, actually, tell him a joke. Let's do some shorter interactions. And they should already have a good head start, 30 over 30. Yep, that bowl cut. Yes, Blair is normally a girl's name here, too. Uh, but it can be a boy's name, apparently. I've never seen a, a male named Blair, but... 
Okay, sidewalk makeover. All right, all right. You called it. We'll do a sidewalk makeover on Blair. <laughs> I was gonna let him keep that hair, but all right, all right. Let's let's. He hasn't been gussied yet. <laughs> you had the haircut when you were five. Yeah, he does have a nice face. It's just this haircut. Oh, man, it's so bad. <laughs> Let's see what he looks like with the different hair. Oh, my God. Look how much cuter, y'all. Look how much cuter. Get yourself a haircut. <laughs> it does. It does really have great movement. Yes, you're right about that. All 90s kids had that haircut. <laughs> I don't know. I think we had more. It wasn't quite that bowl shaped. It wasn't quite that bowl shaped in the 90s. That Jonathan Taylor Thomas hair. I used to have a Jonathan Taylor Thomas poster on my bedroom wall when I was a teenager. <laughs> no, I like that other one better. That is cute. Let's give him some eyelashes. I, I'm thinking he has skin too. So I think I'm going to give him those eyelashes. He's actually really good looking. I, ha I just can't stand the bowl cut, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, so he Tank is going to go to the bathroom. He's going to talk to Blair. And we're going to try to get him to roll some college once. But if he doesn't, he's just going to age up to a young adult. And I guess he's just going to keep living with his dad. He's going to keep living with his dad. He's going to get in the military career. <laughs> Discord channel for bowl cuts. <laughs> you can put those in the selfies channel. And oh, okay, so let's go ahead and take care of Rip here. Let's go ahead and have him call and apply for college scholarships. I don't think he's going to qualify for anything, but I usually have them apply anyway while these two hang out. And also, let's not forget to give him his pottery wheel. I'm going to put that in his inventory um, so he can take it with him to college and keep on sculpting. He's going to keep on sculpting. And it'll be interesting to see what he majors in in college. <laughs> no, I did find a picture of me with dreads, but it's not—it's a terrible picture, and I'm like, I don't want to show this. <laughs> I know there are some more of there are some of me on Facebook, but I really don't want to re. Uh, what's the word? reactivate my facebook to get them so let me i'm gonna check and see if my brothers have any have any pictures of me that i can uh, get from them let's see apply for scholarships um the one that i found you can't really see my dreads that well you can just see like a couple in the front because i had a scarf on okay there are more okay he doesn't qualify for any scholarships so let's do just move. Let's just have him go ahead and move. And we can get one one kid out of the way. <laughs> 100k points to see an embarrassing picture of me. <laughs> I can show you the Jinkos picture again. Uh, okay, move to college. <laughs> yes, he. I got his hobby item with him. Uh, Rip's about to leave and move to college. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Here comes the taxi. And Tank's running over to, to see him. To see him off. And Buzz isn't even here. Buzz doesn't even care. Buzz doesn't get along with Rip. Rip's like, Rip's like, I'm just leaving. I'm not waiting for Dad to get home. I'm just going to my new life as a young adult. So we will see you, Rip. We'll see you in a couple of rounds. Or not a couple of rounds, but we'll see him... In like three streams, we'll see Rip again. <laughs> Two or three. Two or three streams, we'll see him again. <laughs> He's going to do well in college. I'm happy that he was able to get out of here because his dad just doesn't understand him. He just doesn't understand him. And he's going to go make a new life for himself. Okay, so he, we're still trying to become friends with Blair. Um, admire him. Tell him another joke um do some gossip i just want to do some really short interactions to try to get their relationship up faster we're getting there but i really don't think tank is going to college all i really don't <laughs> i really do not oh classical music oh we got two you got two classicals all right there we go 
Oh, thank you so much for the prime sub, La Lauren. Thank you. And I forgot to change it to salsa earlier too. I'm so sorry. Um, do we have a radio? Oh, we have a radio upstairs. Okay, um, let's have Buck go change the radio station, turn it on to classical. I'll play salsa sometime in the stream because I feel bad because somebody wanted salsa earlier. <laughs> if we get another date, we're turning it to salsa. Thank you, Vampira. <laughs> you had Tank not go to college. Okay, wait, no, switch to classical. Go switch to classical. It is going to be so fun playing Rip at College. I agree. But what are these two doing? Oh, they made friends. They made friends and he still doesn't want to go to college. Oh, I don't think he's going. It's like an hour and 50 minutes until he turns into a young adult. So, I mean, I guess we could have like a little party for him here. And um, we couldn't really invite anybody besides his dad, brother, and his only friend, Blair Mace. Everybody's here already. <laughs> I don't think he would force Tank to go to college because Tank is going into the military career. And so I think that he would support Tank going into the military instead of going to college. In fact, I think Tank Buzz might be the kind of dad that thinks that college is for like more liberal people and that his son should be his son should be going into the military. I got a mic problem. One second. My mic's falling. Okay, there it is. <laughs> no, he'll get past level three. He has a A in school, so he can get all the way up to level five. He'll never be as good as his dad. He'll spend his whole life trying to be um, the general that his dad is, and he'll never make it. I actually really like that. <laughs> General Buzz wants to bring Matthew Howe home from work. Sure, I guess. That's fine. And then I'm going to have Buzz go and throw a birthday party for Tank because Tank is is not going, not going to college. So we're going to call and throw party. Um, birthday party. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. We have like an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right, weird days. And I'm kind of thinking that uh, Buzz might be like that. College is for squares. <laughs> yep, he'll only ever be able to go up to level five. That's as far as he'll be able to go. And I'm okay with that. I think it would be great. I, I really like the idea of the story that he spends his whole life trying to be as good as his dad and he never lives up to that. He never lives up to those expectations. He can never feel, fill those shoes no matter how hard he tries. <laughs> okay, so let's... And who are we going to invite? We can't invite any of these people. We're going to invite Melba. <laughs> Melba's the only one we're going to invite. Melba and uh, Nancy. There we go. Oh, I have to unban Melba again. Okay, I'm just going to keep her unbanned on this lot. I'm just going to keep her unbanned because... It's too annoying to have to keep unbanning her. And since uh, Buzz obviously likes her, allow matchmaker. All right. And let's get ourselves a birthday cake. There we go. Melba's the only one for Buzz. <laughs> I can't wait to see his secondary aspiration too. I don't know what it's going to be. Somebody didn't show up. Who didn't come? It was probably Melba. It was probably Melba who didn't come. All right, let's have Tank go ahead and go to the birthday cake before it's too late. You don't like that birthday cake? Well, too bad. <laughs> too bad, Buzz. That's just too damn bad. <laughs> Buzz, bu. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Anne. Oh, also, uh, thank you, Lauren, for that prime sub now i got to my sub goal for the day so thank you to all my new and old subscribers i really appreciate your support guys and look uh nancy showed up though and here we go tank is aging up to an adult he's leaving his friend blair behind maybe i think we should age up blair too we're gonna age up blair to an adult too because they are friends and then Tank can continue to have a friend in his life, at least. Or maybe more than a friend. 
No, he's straight. That's right. He's straight. He's very straight. Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping he would go to college and then we could take Blair with him. We're only gonna, we're only gonna play one sim in college. I don't think we have any more teens to go to college. Oh, look at him. Look at that. Hello. Hey, he's pretty cute, actually. <laughs> so we're gonna age up Blair with him. Um, Blair is his friend. Oh, look, Tank has been promoted to Elite Forces level two. Yes, thank you. And we're gonna age up Blair here. Okay, Blair, where are you? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh my God, no. <laughs> He's wearing a pirate outfit. <laughs> no, why are you wearing that? Oh my God, no. <laughs> hey, Buck's gonna age up to a teen tomorrow. Yes, yes. <laughs> so let me change everybody's ages. So Buzz is 37. Tank and Rib, of course, are 18 and Buck is 11. And now we have got to change Blair out of this outfit, y'all. He could not go walking around Strange Town in a pirate suit. <laughs> Captain Blair Sparrow. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. It makes no sense. I hate it. I hate it. We got to change it. <laughs> oh, are we going to be able to, to buy his clothes? I hope so. Strange Town is strange. It is, but it's not that strange. It's not strange enough that Blair is going to become a pirate. <laughs> Let's just get him another outfit. What color does he like? Brown? <laughs> And what kind of sim is he? I don't even know. That's a cute outfit. I don't it's too cute for a townie. <laughs> we gotta give him something frumpy. Let's give him this. <laughs> no, I don't wanna have him walk. I don't wanna have him walking in the I don't wanna have him as a pirate. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna give him this outfit. Where is it? There we go. There, now he looks like a normal man. <laughs> Blair the desert pirate. <laughs> I should have taken a screenshot of that. Okay, so he's got an outfit now. He looks like a normal person. He, oh my God, Blair, you are looking good, honey. Let's give him some, we gotta give him some uh, facial hair. We gotta, we gotta give him some hair. <laughs> he's a man now. <laughs> change appearance yeah we can give him some body hair too that's a good idea um he's got eyelashes we want to give him a little stubble a little manly stubble a little bit more oh yes oh my god that is a good looking freaking townie <laughs> i know that's what i'm saying too bad tank is straight too bad because we got blair here looking really good <laughs> He is cute. I don't know what his... Oh, oh my God. He's staring right into my eyes. Hello, Blair. <laughs> let's check his... Uh, let's check his gender preference. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Traits. Blair. Gender preference. Show preferences. Oh my God. Blair is bisexual. <laughs> Yeah, Blair is bisexual, y'all. Oh, man. I know it's the most we've ever done for a townie. <clears throat> Ooh, maybe he'll get to know Rip, right? Maybe he'll get to know Rip. <laughs> that, I don't know. I really like Blair, y'all. I really like Blair. He's like my favorite townie now. <laughs> I love him. Something. We're going to get him into the story somehow. We're going to get him in here. And let me see, what do we need to do now? Oh my gosh, he wants to he wants to pull prank on Nancy, dance with Nancy, and have pillow fight with Nancy. Okay, I don't care what you want to do with Nancy. This is Tank's day. And Tank wants to be best friends with Blair. He's too hot to not be in the story, I know. <laughs> Tank who, Buzz? <laughs> Blair has to knock somebody up. Yes, we need these we need these jeans. We need these jeans in town. Um, why don't you go over and talk, tell, tell a dirty joke to Blair. <laughs> tell him a dirty joke. 
Oh, he's he's coming in somehow. Now he's an adult too, so it it should be easy for us to bring him in somewhere. He might have a secret crush on Tank. Yes, I know. Oh my God, Melba. As soon as I unban her, she can't wait to get her hands on us. <laughs> Kick everybody out of the house and give it to Blair. He wants to be best friends with him, so I, I guess I'm just going to keep working on that relationship there. And now Tank is an adult, and he's going to live here with his dad until, I guess, he gets married or something. I mean, I'm not going to make him move out. I don't think he would move out. He doesn't have any money. He's going to stay here and work for the military. And let's check on everybody. Let's check on Buck. Oh, no, Buck. I've been ignoring you. I'm so sorry. He's going to play catch with Nancy. Aw. That's so nice. Oh, there goes a kid. Amin Koder? Koder? I don't even know how to say that. Why do they make the name so hard to pronounce for me? <laughs> we need more Blairs, yes. <laughs> we're, don't worry, we're going to get him in somehow. Melba, you're so annoying. I'm just going to let her stalk this house, whatever. And what is Tank doing? Uh, they're both looking at the fish together? I don't know. Eat some cake. Eat some cake. And then Buzz... Um, let's go talk to Nancy. Let's go talk to Nancy. Even though you have no chemistry with her whatsoever, they're still friends at least. I can't believe he made friends with her. Have pillow fight and dance. Let's see if we can have a pillow fight. Have a stupid pillow fight where you just pull the pillow right out of your butt. Hey, Jenna, I'm doing great. <laughs> Oh, I do like the idea of Tank and Blair getting a place together. That is a good idea. What I really want to do is have Tank move into this house over here. Um, as soon as he's able to save up enough money. Because I feel like he would totally be the kind of person who just lives right across the street from his dad. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Rosebuds. Oh, I got to hydrate five minutes ago. I'm sorry. Hallowed Meyer. I'm sorry. I just saw it. I'll do that now. There's my hydrate. Yeah, we're going to send him to a community lot soon. Uh, because he it's not going to work out with Nancy. I mean, he's friends with her, but he doesn't see her as anything more than a friend, unfortunately. He wants to have a great party. But tonight, since it's Tank's birthday, we're not going to send him anywhere. After the party's over, we'll probably just take care of their needs and have them um, go to bed. And we'll try again tomorrow. You like Melba, but you also like her canceled. <laughs> Ooh, pizza. Pizza, yummy. We're going to get on food again. <laughs> I am going to build apartments for Strange Town Lily. Um, I'm going to build a, an old motel, like an old rundown roadside motel. And that's going to, well, that's going to be the flop house. I might build some nicer apartments. Not sure yet. Um, because there aren't really any apartments that look like they belong in Strange Town, in my opinion. So I'm going to build my own. You just ate pizza bagels. If pizza's on a bagel, we can have pizza anytime. Okay, Buck is in bed. Where is Tank? Tank's taking a bath. Blair, what are you doing? Blair's going to swing on the swings by himself. <laughs> yes, like a Bates Motel kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, I just think it would fit so well, like just an old rundown roadside hotel. Motel. It'd be a motel, not a hotel. Now you're hangry. <laughs> hey, Carson. <laughs> yes, the motel is going to be the flop house. And then I'll probably eventually build some nicer apartments, kind of like the Pleasant Vista apartments, but for Strange Town, like some one bedrooms that are reasonably priced. Um, but yeah, we're gonna need something. We're gonna, when Rip gets back from college, he's gonna need somewhere to live, and he's definitely not gonna be coming back home. He is happy to get away from Tank and Buzz because they just didn't have a good relationship. I think he will definitely be moving into the Flophouse Motel while he works on his sculpting <laughs> and his art. 
the strange vista apartments i love it <laughs> i love building apartments in the sims 2 i do too <laughs> thank you jenna chloe and buzz seem to have really high chemistry hmm that's good oh i gotta hydrate okay hold on i gotta save game let me do my save game i gotta hydrate from smelly hag thank you smelly hag <laughs> your name cracks me up oh <laughs> he married a cheerleader huh the buzz motel <laughs> that's funny <laughs> You switched a huge four-story four building in Pleasant View into apartments. I like to make uh, buildings into apartments. Oh my God, I just had an idea. We, what if we could turn this house into apartments? Uh, but I don't know. I kind of want to save that house for Tank. Maybe I could make a clone of this house and turn it into apartments. I'm sure General Buzz would just love that. If there were like some low rent apartments right next to him. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, what just happened? Who just left? Who's leaving? What's going on? I'm not paying attention to my sims. Is Buzz really out here pushing Tank on the swings? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. It could be a boarding house. Yes, I love that idea, Max. I love that idea. The Highway Inn. Oh, I love that. That's a great name. I love the Highway Inn. <laughs> it's daddy time. <laughs> he doesn't want his boy to grow up. Aww. It's so cute and so weird at the same time. Okay, Tank. I, I had Tank eat like three pieces of cake and he's still hungry. Go eat another piece of cake. How much cake can you eat? I wish I could eat that much cake. The Motel to Nowhere. <laughs> Road to Nowhere Inn. Ooh, I like that, too. I like that, too. <laughs> Those are good names, guys. No, you're right. Rip would not want to move next door to his dad, but Rip is going to live in the motel, which I'm going to put down the road further away from this area. I'm going to put it... I'm going to make, like, a rundown area. When you're 18 and you still get pushed in the swing by your dad. <laughs> Okay, let's have... He's getting hot out there. You need to get out. You, I don't want you to spontaneously combust. After I made my death and disease video, people were telling me that they had Sims spontaneously combust in their game. I've never had that happen, but now I'm like so scared it's going to happen. <laughs> it's really rare. He wants to be friends with Melba. I know he does. I know he does. I don't know why he likes Melba so much. She's got what he needs. <laughs> What does he want to do? Influence someone to talk? Oh, he wants to meet someone new. Okay, I'm locking that in because that gives us an opportunity to send him out. And I want to go try out the strip mall too. Um, so I think I'll send him out to the strip mall tomorrow and let's see what town he show up and who he can meet. Now the strip mall is going to spawn like four, five, six, or seven NPCs. <laughs> but I'm okay with that in Strange Town. I'm okay with it. I've made peace with it. Oh, we didn't roll his secondary. We didn't do his secondary aspiration. Thank you, guys. Thank you for that. Um, I forgot about that. So he, we're going to give him the popularity tree since he's a popularity sim. And he doesn't currently have enough for a secondary aspiration. We're going to have to wait for him to get a little bit older. So we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. Okay, get off the swings. Jeez. And let's go ahead and send him up here. Go to the bathroom and go to sleep. He ate seriously like four pieces of cake. Nah, well, Buzz, I only buy extra clothes for my Sims if they roll the want to get clothing. So for now, he's just, that's what he's got. Maybe he'll roll the want for it when we send him to the store. Um, in the meantime, no, don't go up there and take a shower. That's where I just sent Tank. You can go take a shower over here. Take a shower. No, oh my God. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, um, I'm just looking at the house here. You give your Sims theirs when they turn 25. That's a good idea. He takes the dumbest routes I have ever seen anybody take. No, come here. You know what? Turn this switch to salsa. 
Sometimes I get uh, copyright hits for the classical station. And I can't remember which songs they are. So I try to keep it off there if I can. You usually lock this door. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's lock it. Lock for all sims. No, you can't go that way anymore. It's stupid. <laughs> Tank is hungry for Blair. No, he's not. I wish he was, but he's not. He just wants to be best friends with Blair. He really likes Blair as a friend. But unfortunately, Tank is straight. So we're going to have to find him a lady too. And I have no idea who who is out there for Tank. Who? What do you guys usually do with Tank? I want to hear what you guys do. He takes the long route for exercise. That's a good point, Laura. That is a good point. Oh, radio station, my choice. Okay, thank you, thank you. I will change it to, um, I want to change it to shopping because that's the station I like. <laughs> oh, there's homework on the bottom floor. Um, let me see. Okay, is this, I think this is Buck's homework. Okay, so that's good, but this one needs to go. You're right. So we're gonna delete that. Okay, thank you. Good eye, guys, good eye. <laughs> Usually get Tank with a guy from uni. For Tank, you make him, uh, you make him a wife, you make him a wife. Oh, I see. In your game, Tank is single or gay. He can have a bromance. Yeah, he can have a bromance. He already kind of has a bromance with Blair. <laughs> he could go both ways, that's true, that's true. If he changed his mind, I would let him change. You guys all make him gay? Oh, Tank and Kristen. You don't give a rat's ass about Tank. <laughs> well, I care about all my sims, even the jerks. Um, I think you can put custom music into the sims too, but I have never done it before. But I'm pretty sure you can do it. He is... Tank is low straight, but he also has negative 10 for guys. So he's like, Rip had zero for males and 10 for females. Tank has a negative 10 for males and 10 for females. So he's like more straight than Rip. <laughs> That's true. I don't care about Melba. <laughs> You know I don't. I'm gonna, every single matchmaker in my game now is getting renamed to Melba. <laughs> he could be like military buddies with Blair, yeah. That's true. I wonder what job Blair's gonna get. Tanks with Angela Pleasant in your game? Wow, yeah, I don't play, I don't play Uber Hoods, but I don't think that's a bad match. <laughs> I think that's a good match. Okay, we got a commercial break. All right, let me, let's get uh, Buzz to bed here. Let's get everybody to bed. No, no, no. Oh, he's going to chat. He's going to chat. Oh, hey, Olya. Thank you so much for four months. Thank you very much. Hold on, I'm going to let him chat. We're going to, I'm not going to forget your commercial, but he's chatting with Quentin McCauley. I think that's a dude. I think that's a guy. Loki Beaker signed off. I love the online chat in The Sims 2. I really do. Oh no, that fulfilled his meet someone new one. Crap. <sighs> that sucks. And we didn't want to use meet someone new on Quentin McCauley. It's this guy. Great. He wants to talk though. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use talk. He's got to go downtown to talk. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna stretch on that one. Tank and Aaron made adorable babies. Aww. Somebody's gonna fall for Blair. Somebody's gonna fall for Blair. Okay, get off the computer. Stop talking to Quentin. Go to sleep so we can watch our commercial. <laughs> Your husband's in the army as a nurse and he acts nothing like the grunts. That's true. There's all kinds of people in the military and all kinds of jobs. Yep. You're absolutely right. Um, the carpool for Tank will arrive in an hour. Okay, whatever. Let me save. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Midnight Aura. And thank you for the follow, Ray. And I'm going over to the Discord now. I'm going to find us the commercial, guys. Um, there it goes. Thank you, Ray. 
let's see what we've got here. Let's see what you guys have given me. I'm just, oh, here's something. Oh, it's the pink windmill kids, but I can't watch that one because I know for a fact that one's going to give me a, uh, that one's going to give me a copyright. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've, the Happy Family Doll commercial. Did we watch that? Did we watch the Happy Family Doll commercial? I think we did. We did watch that. I forgot to poop on it. Um, funny pregnancy commercials from Joe. Our mommy's secret surprise doll. What is this? <laughs> what is this that Joe posted? <laughs> Hold on. We got to watch this. I'm a sucker for the doll commercials. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, this is Mommy's Secret Surprise Doll from 1993. And this sounds really creepy. This sounds really creepy. Okay, here we go. It's Mommy's Secret Surprise. The sweetest newborn oh, no. anywhere. Oh, no. For baby, girl, and boy to share. <laughs> Mommy's Secret Surprise. Nothing is more wonderful than being She's a pregnant. Oh, that was that's so weird. That's so weird. Okay, we're gonna watch another one though. That is weird. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Joe. <laughs> I I don't know. It's just the way the belly flips over. <laughs> it's just that's strange. Um, so let's see if we can find something else really quick because that wasn't very long. So I'm scrolling way, way up because you guys have put a bunch of cool stuff on here. Um, let me see. Let me see. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, FLB. Okay, we watched the vintage. We watched this. I didn't poop on this either. I know if somebody doesn't know my stream, they're going to be like, what are you talking about poop on stuff? I put a poop emoji on the commercials we've already watched because that's not an emoji anybody else would normally use. And then I just started saying I'll poop on that. <laughs> I, I don't know, Mary. I don't know. I didn't look that hard. I didn't look that hard. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, I was looking for Tomai's because I saw you say that you hope I watch your commercial, so I found your commercial and we're going to watch it. <laughs> um, oh, 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 this is called, this is Malteser's New Boyfriend. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is, but we're going to watch it. Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, new boyfriend. All right. And it's we're rude. Back at his, getting a little uh, frisky. Don't frisky. <laughs> My hands may have been uh, wandering slightly. Mm -hmm. Come on. And then I start having a spasm. No. Which he misinterprets. Oh, so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> he wasn't complaining. <laughs> You're so bad. That's what he said. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I like that. That was a good commercial. Our, I guess Maltesers are a kind of candy. I've never heard of Maltesers before, but that was a funny commercial. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, guys. I love that you guys share those funny commercials. There are so many funny commercials I never knew about. <laughs> she had a spasm, guys. She had a spasm. <laughs> Oh, are they like, are they like milk duds? Are Maltesers like milk duds? I think they're like milk duds. I think they're what we call milk duds. They're like the little chocolate malted balls things. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. That look like those reality sitcom CBS shows. Oh, like Whoppers. Oh, that's what they're like. Okay, Whoppers. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Not not milk duds. Whoppers. No, we don't have Maltesers. I've never heard of those, but we have Whoppers, which I think are the same thing. Thank you for that. Let's see. I'm going to look up a picture. You guys can tell me. You guys tell me if this is what Maltesers are. Is this what they are? Like this? Malted milk balls. Malted milk balls, the original malted, that's what they are? Okay, so we also have, what are milk duds then? What the heck are milk duds? <laughs> Whoppers are also burgers here at Burger King. 
Milk duds. Oh, milk duds are chocolate and caramel. That's caramel. Why did I say caramel? Caramel is how I say it. Um, milk duds are chocolate and caramel. I get those two candies mixed up because they're both like little chocolate balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know my candies. I don't eat a lot of candy, but I get these. I always get these mixed up. Anyway, we, of course, we're going to talk about candy and food again. <laughs> no, they're caramel inside. They're caramel inside. I like Whoppers. Yeah, I like Whoppers, too. I haven't had those in so long. They're pretty good. I like caramel. I like chocolate with caramel. Yes, we always talk about food on this stream. <laughs> we like food. <laughs> You've been itching for some good cheesecake? Ooh, me too. Um, thank you for the follow, CFC star. You don't like caramel? Oh my god, I love it. I love the chewy, kind of hard caramel, and I like the soft caramel. Like, have you ever had a caramello? You guys know what that is? The candy bar called caramello, and it's like the squares of chocolate, and they're just filled with like the like the the loose caramel you know what i mean the, it's it's not hard it's soft <laughs> i love those they're so good i haven't had one of those in years oh yeah we have rolos rolo tony brown town <laughs> i know you guys probably have no idea what i'm talking about i'm sorry i gotta i gotta drop those obscure references no, Rolos are not like Caramellos. Caramello is really, really soft. It's not, Rolo is like hard. I'll show you what a Caramello is. Caramellos are like this. So, see how soft, see how soft the caramel is? It like oozes out. That's what a Caramello is. Yeah. And Rolos are, like, much harder than that. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. I love them. I want some chocolate, too. I haven't had any chocolate in a long time. Okay, who's supposed to be going to work here? You better get up and go to work, boy. They're delicious. You have those in, turkeys, in Turkey with a different name? I know I gotta stop. I'm making everybody ravenous for chocolate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I want one too. I want one too. <laughs> yeah, you don't like that, Miles. I know you don't. <laughs> I love loose caramel more than chewy caramel. I do too. I like the loose caramel. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it now? Loose caramel? You're still in bed. You're sleeping in past 7 a.m. I can't believe you, Tank, or Buzz. Can't believe you, Buzz. I, I eat a Cadbury egg every year at Easter time. I eat one a year, and it's I look forward to it all year. It's my special treat. <laughs> yeah, we have Cadbury eggs. I don't know if they're the same as the ones that are overseas. I don't know if they make them special, like, for America, for our sugary tastes or something. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Steph. And let's check on Buck. Oh, my gosh, Buck, stop playing. You got it. You, oh, he wants to do his homework. Oh, no. He's got to go to school in 20 minutes. He's not going to get his homework done. I've been neglecting this child. You can tour the Cadbury factory? Wow. <laughs> You're about to run down to the dollar store and buy a bunch of candy. <laughs> I know. I know. I want candy, too. And that's not good because I have to make my grocery list today and I'm going to put, like, boxes of candy on. That's not good. <laughs> I figure that they're different. Usually, whenever they make some type of candy or product um, that originated in, like, the UK, they make it different for, for America. Hey, thank you for the follow, Kaylee. Oh, also, I got to hydrate from Steph. Okay. Keeping me hydrated. Not Look, I've hardly drank any water today. Ooh, I love Reese's, too. I love me some Reese's. It's almost spooky month, and then I'm going to have a whole bunch of candy. Because I always overbuy candy for the... 
Oh, you gotta go to work. Get up, get up. Wait, not you. Oops. Stay at school. I don't know what I'm doing. I always buy over buy candy for the trick-or-treaters because one year we ran out of candy. And then the trick-or-treaters came knocking at our door and I'm like, I'm sorry, we don't have any more. And they're like, how could you run out of candy? That's what one kid said to me. One kid said, how could you run out of candy? I'm like, I'm sorry. That was our first year in this house so we didn't know how many trick-or-treaters we were gonna get. And yeah, the kids got mad. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, so now I overbuy because I would rather have too much than disappoint the little kiddos when they come to our door. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. No, they did not egg my house, thank goodness. They're they're usually really like little kids with their parents, like, you know, seven, eight years old. Okay, everybody's gonna be gone in this house for a bit. I'm gonna fast forward. Yes, they got big mad. They did. Oh no, somebody knocked over a trash can again. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, who's gonna be the, Tank's gonna be the first to get home, so he's gonna take care of this mess when he gets home. The Cadbury fa factory probably isn't as fun as Willy Wonka's. No, it's probably not. They have roaches! Ah, crap. Oh, that makes my skin crawl. Ew. Oh my God, it's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> the flu is coming no don't say that don't say that we're gonna get this taken care of okay Ma uh, tank wants to oh tank is becoming friends with matthew okay that's cool i guess if that's what you want to do pick this up clean this up spray these roaches um he, this is the same guy that his dad brought home maybe he's encouraging tank to be friends with him 2D roaches. <laughs> I know. Makes perfect sense that roaches spread the flu. <laughs> yeah, I should lock it up. You're exactly right. I should lock up the trash can because it's getting annoying. And so let's lock it up somewhere. Let's see. We need a fence. Let's get ourselves a fence. Oh, but a fence is in build mode, not buy mode, Cindy. Um, let's get ourselves a fence. Something something that doesn't look too fancy I don't know where to put it I'm just gonna put it like right out here actually I'm gonna use this fence since it's already being used on this lot I really kind of want to remodel this house too I want to remodel every house every house in the game <laughs> we're gonna put it out here next to the back door not there not there right there and I'm gonna put a fence or a gate, I mean. Where's the gate? There we go. And then we're gonna lock this gate to everyone but the household members. And that should help take care of that problem. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I know that fence, lo that fence looks fancier than I wanted to, but since it was already used on the lot, I'm okay with that. It's fine. Yes, yes, there's a gate now. I'm glad that you observed that. <laughs> he wants to invite someone over, but he doesn't really know. I guess he can invite Blair back over. Let's go invite Blair back over. Oh, he's going to go take a shower first after work. Yeah, I know. Buzz and Tank are really, you know, they're not very likable. They're not very likable Sims. They're kind of jerks. Um, but you know, I try to make them better. I try to make them better Sims. Oh, he wants to meet someone new, actually. You know what? We got to get on this for Tank. He wants to meet someone new. And I think we need to send him out on the town. We need to send him out to meet somebody. I know you want Blair, but unfortunately, nobody here is getting with Blair. Oh, look, here's Chloe. Hold on. Here's Chloe. Should we have him greet Chloe or should we go somewhere else? Because Chloe, she's a romance sim, so I don't know. And I don't think that he's going to be talking to an alien sim right outside his house when his dad's about to come home. I think I'm going to send him to, to out to town. I'm going to send him out to town. 
Aw, thanks so much for the shout out, Olya. Olya gave a shout out to me for being an awesome simmer and keeping you entertained. Thank you, Olya. <laughs> Well, if I greet her, then I lose my want to make him go downtown because I'm using this meet someone new. I'm stretching it. I'm stretching it. But if he goes to if he goes somewhere to community law, there'll be more choices for him to choose from to meet someone new. So I am going to send him out. Uh, because she if he doesn't get along with her, then we've wasted the wants. But I guess that's how it goes if we send him out anyway. But anyway, I'm going to community lot. That's what I'm doing. Let's see. Walk to lot, community lot. He's just going to leave his friend here. He's like, hey, dude, you can watch TV. I'm going out. And I'm going to go down to the strip mall because I kind of want to try it out, too. Because I haven't I haven't play tested it yet. So this will be our first play test. And make sure everything works properly. Um, I like to play test a lot before I upload it, just because I don't want to have to re-upload it if there's an issue, which seems to happen to me every freaking time. Oh, you read? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see your hydrate. Let me do a hydrate now for Lily. There we go. Strip mall time. Oh no, Buck's gonna be alone. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. Um, we might have to send him right back. We're gonna have to send him right back and, and wait till Buck gets home, guys. We're gonna have to, because I don't want Buck to get taken away. No, he'll get taken away if he's alone. And what, so what time is it? He's gonna get back in 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Turn around, go back home. I'm not getting Buck taken away by social services. Where are you? Where are you? Seriously, where is he? No, he's going to the computer. Oh, he's going to check it out. Um. Okay, I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see you sneaking in down here. I see you sneaking in. Um, Go back home. I forgot about Buck, y'all. He's got to go back home real quick. We're going to bring him back. Um, He's got to go home and wait for Buck to get home, and then he can, like, hire a babysitter and come back or something. Oops. Oops. Silly me. <laughs> At least we remembered, yes. Yeah, he doesn't care if Buck gets taken away. He's like, whatever. I got to go. <laughs> How could you forget your little brother? See, his dad would never forgive him. His dad would never forgive him if he left Buck here alone. Oh, look, there goes Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Oh my God, let's introduce him to her. Wait, 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 wait. Come here. Oh, she's already gone. She's already gone. Yeah, I know Matthew was at the house, but it wouldn't count because I've tried to do that before and my kids still got taken away. So it didn't count. He could ask Matthew to watch him, but if he just left and Matthew was there, it wouldn't work. Um, where is Matthew? Hey, Matthew, can we ask him? I thought I had a mod where they could ask somebody to watch kids. Ask to watch kids. Thank you for the follow, Akata. Thank you. Let's ask Matthew. He's gonna be like, hey, Matthew, can you keep an eye on Buck? I gotta run down to the store real quick. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't need to make him selectable. I'm just going to ask him if he'll watch the kids. Okay, are you leaving? You better get... Hey! Hey! Hey, no, get back here! No! Oh, crap! He left! <laughs> what time does Buzz get home? He gets home at... Four okay, he gets home in like 40... In less than 40 minutes, guys. And then you know what? Let's just send the whole family. Let's send the whole family to the, to the town. <laughs> Hello, I'm alone in the house. Could you come? <laughs> I know. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take him. I'm gonna take everybody with us since Tank is. Uh, Buzz is coming home in like 30, 20 minutes now. I'm just gonna take everybody. I know everybody's running around. <laughs> Aw, hello. What's their relationship like? I'm just curious. Not. They don't really have much of a relationship. 
They need to spend some more time together. It's starting to rain. It gets raining a lot here in Strange Town. As soon as Buzz gets home, they are going. Oh, did you just clean out the dead fish? That's nice. They let their fish die. <laughs> okay, he's getting home now. What if you were like driving down this road and you had to stop because his freaking helicopter was in the road? General Buzz wants to bring Matthew Howe home. You know what? No, no, Matthew. No, you stay where you came from. We've had enough of you. <laughs> you didn't watch the kids for us. All right, now everybody's gonna go downtown. Look, his needs are like completely met. And he wants to meet someone new too. Yes, yes. This is perfect. So let's walk to a community lot. Everybody's doing pretty good except for poor little Buck. He needs some fun. Maybe he can have some fun on the community lot. I don't know how. Everybody's going. Everybody load it up. Load it up. Let's go to the strip mall. <laughs> it's the happening place in town. <laughs> yeah, let's ban Matthew. <laughs> yes, they can greet all the women at the mall. <laughs> Set Matthew up with Melba. I don't know. I'm not very fond of Matthew right now. I'm not very fond of Melba either, so I guess that's what you're trying to say. We gotta get Buck to do his homework, too. He's gonna flunk out of school. Nah, I'm not gonna ban him. I'm not gonna ban him yet. Buck's yellow probably because he needs fun. I'm gonna have him go outside and jump rope at the strip mall while his dad and brother go try to meet ladies. It's a weird family trip. It's a weird family trip. Aw, thanks, Steph. Matba. <laughs> okay, here they go. Everybody's here. Oh, he wants to buy something. Okay, hold on, hold on. Buck, I'm gonna have you go and um, do some jump roping, okay? Just for fun. He wants to have a water balloon fight. We'll watch and see if there are any kids here that he can play with. Um, but if not, I'm just gonna have him do some jump roping. And then let's check... He wants to buy new jewelry? Really? You want to buy jewelry? <laughs> okay. If that's what you want to do, um, let's go buy you some jewelry. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I really like how it turned out. So here's um, some, let's go buy some jewelry. And then what do you want to do? You just want to meet somebody. So let's keep our eye out. Let's keep our eyes out. <laughs> let's keep our eyes out okay buck's gonna that's a little too close to the road son oh there's a lady okay hold on hold on there's a lady who is this this is marion i'm not even gonna try to say that last name this is marion so tank come on she is cute too she is adorable okay come on let's go greet her <laughs> greets Marion. Who's that? Edward. Edward Fuchs. Tank is gonna, or Buzz is going to buy jewelry. Why is he walking through the restaurant? I thought I told you to go buy jewelry. But you did not. Did something go wrong? Buy jewelry. Where is everybody? Okay, here he goes. Oh, there's another lady. Oh, there's Jessica. We gotta meet Jessica too. And there's Margaret Howe. Oh my gosh, so many ladies. What are you, why are they going to look at the, oh my gosh. Oh no, guys, look who's here. <laughs> look who's here. It's Razor Waiter. <laughs> Thank you, Vampira. Razor Waiter is here. <laughs> He's back. He's back. <clears throat> yes, this is a new lot. This is a strip mall that I built for Strange Town. Okay, uh, Tank. Who's, you know what? Who's the closest lady to you? Margaret is mean, y'all. Margaret is mean. <laughs> the blonde guy thinks Laszlo is hot. He sure does. Edward. 
Edward. Hello, Edward. Um, okay, so there's two ladies in here. Let's have him go in here and we'll have him scope room. I know he didn't greet her. I know he didn't. Margaret is kind of perfect for Buzz. Okay. I want to have him scope room. I don't know if he'll only scope who's outside or inside. Let's see who if he thinks anybody's attractive. Barbara! He likes... Who the heck is Barbara? Seriously. I, oh, Barbara. Tank likes Barbara. <laughs> We'll we'll uh, see if we can get Buzz to talk to somebody. I don't know why he's not buying jewelry. Um, okay, hello, Barbara. Let's go meet her. Greet Barbara Young. And I think I'll do the same thing for Buzz. Come here. I don't know why they're not doing anything I'm telling them to do. They're not greeting anybody. This is really weird. Uh, maybe he's not greeting her because she's trying to go eat at the restaurant. Oh, she's a teen? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that doesn't stop him. Her thing is clipping. Her outfit is clipping. We're gonna have to fix that. Um, Can he flirt with her? Oh, I thought he was gonna be able- I thought I had teen adult relations turned on. Oh, I do. You have to go through casual. Oh, thank you so much for the three months. Uh, follow, or Shannon, thank you. And thank you for the follow, Hasselin. Let's just see. I don't mind him getting involved. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you're creeping her out, Tank. You're creeping her out. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. He's creeping her out. So we're going to try again. There are some people in here. Oh my gosh. Buzz is talking to Kristen. Hold on. What's going on? Oh, he's got two bolts with her. He's got two bolts with her and they're freaking dancing together. What? What? <laughs> okay. This is weird. This is weird. Margaret, what are you doing? Go away. Um... Yeah, well, he's got two bolts with her, so. <laughs> They're a good match. They were a couple in one of your games. They totally just started dancing together all on their own. So if that's what he wants, I'm more than happy to oblige. But I also want him to buy some jewelry. Jeez. <laughs> run, Kristen, run. <laughs> What kind of jewelry would he wear? Oh my god. Let's I guess a ring. I can't see him wearing any jewelry, but you know what? We'll buy you a ring. We'll buy you a ring. There you go. Eyebrow ring. <laughs> oh, I should have got him a dog tag. That's okay. We'll get him a ring. He's buying a ring. You know what? I think he's buying a ring in anticipation of getting remarried, y'all. He He's like, he started talking to Kristen. He's like, you know what? I need a ring. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, So I'll just let him do what he wants now. Oh, he wants to have two best friends. Okay, well, Kristen can be one of those friends. So let's go ahead and have them talk. And let's have them chat some more. And then let's go check on Tank and see how he's doing over here. Um, not so good. Not so good. You know what? You can go talk. Let's go greet. Oh, no. He doesn't want to greet anybody anymore. So I'm just going to let him do what he wants. I'm going to let him do what he wants. He did think Barbara was hot, but she did. Oh, look. It looks like their relationship went up. So I think maybe they were talking some more. I'm playing happy shopping music in every, in every, um, uh, shop here oh thank you so much for the prime sub nasa i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong but thank you for the prime sub razor waiter i just leave him like this because it's so hilarious to me was he just shaking his butt oh my god is buck still jumping rope yes <laughs> yes he is that's so sad i think they're gonna have to go home soon 
Okay, you can stop jumping rope now. You can stop jumping rope. Maybe they should get something to eat at the restaurant while they're here. Um, let's have them... I think they need to... St Who's taking a bath in the dog bath? Who's taking... <laughs> no! No, you can't... That's the dog's bath! Oh my god, what is wrong with you? <laughs> he just went stripped down in the dog bath. Oh my god. No, no, no. Get out of there. What is wrong with you? <laughs> that is so inappropriate. And now he's got his pajamas on. <laughs> he's got his pajamas on now. Tank. Very inappropriate. Very inappropriate. He doesn't care. He just doesn't care. I was going to have them join a group together and all go get something to eat as a family. <laughs> oh boy that is funny um let's see uh, where is it ask to form casual group for fun let's do that and then we'll add buck to the group yeah he has no grasp of social norms and who is who is he trying to talk to be greeted Oh, Buck is looking at the animals. Buck is look. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, Buck is looking at the cat. Buck is looking at the kitties in the pet shop. Aw, well, he doesn't want to get one, though. He's just looking. He probably knows his dad wouldn't dare let him get a cat. And let's add him to the group. Um, let's see. Ask. Can I add the kid to the group or not? Because it's not, I'm not seeing that option here. Let's see. Um, ask to join casual group. Okay, hold on. And then we're going to, once they're all in a group together. Okay, hopefully they're all in a group now and let's have them go be seated. And eat some dinner together. And then we'll send him home. They did meet a few people. Tank, no! Oh my god, Tank. He's over there, back in the bathtub. He's back in the bathtub again. And is he gonna come be seated? This is not working out. This is not working out at all. Yes, he's coming. Okay, he's coming. Oh my god. <laughs> Does Buck want to be a pet stylist when he grows up? Is that what his bio says? Let's see. Yes, to the stars. He wants to be a pet stylist to the stars. I love that. I wonder if his interests support that. Yes, he has 10 interests in animals, y'all. Okay, we got to do something with that. We got to do something with that. We got to remember that. Okay, oh, let's order. Let's order from Razor Waiter. How would that not terrify all the children? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna order a Chef's Choice for everyone. Can we order Chef's Choice? We'll just order Chef's Choice. There we go. Give us Chef's Choice, please. Thank you, thank you. I always order Chef's Choice. That way everybody gets what they want. They adopted a cat in your game. Yes, I'm going to write it down in the spreadsheet. Thank you. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to write it down. Um, let's see. That Buck likes animals. Um, ten animals. Um, likes cats. We know he likes cats. So I'm going to write that down. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Leica. Chef's Choice Blades. Okay, so Tank got fried chicken. Um, it looks like Buck got... I don't know, what is that? Is that Crepe Suzette? Or is that some kind of dessert? He ordered dessert. And what did you get? I don't even know what that is. Is that salmon? Salmon or chicken? I don't know. I don't know what they got. <laughs> I think they would have a big dog, too, honestly. If But none of them have wanted to get a pet yet. 
None of them have wanted a pet. They're all popularity sims, all three of them. Uh, Buck is going to be a popularity sim as well, so they just want to ma make friends and have parties. <laughs> Please play Long Long Man at your funeral. <laughs> Yes, we are at the restaurant and the family is having dinner together. Hey, he wasn't done with that razor waiter. He wasn't done with his meal. Jeez. Okay, we're just waiting on Buck to finish and then we're going to go home. All right. So let's pay. They had a nice family dinner. 53 bucks. That's not bad to feed three people at a restaurant. They are mean. They're just because they're popularity sims doesn't mean they're nice. They're like big bullies. Okay, that's enough. We're done. We're done. We're going home. So I, I'm glad that Buzz. I know Buck is so sleepy. Okay, let's go home right now. Um, walked a lot home. Now I'm really happy that they did meet a few people. And General Buzz met Kristen, and they had instant chemistry, and were dancing together in the clothing store. So I really like that. Um, maybe we can sort of like try to encourage that relationship a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to let our Sims choose. There goes Vidkin. Bye, Vidkin. Going home. Going home. Walking home. At 11 o'clock at night. Oh, my God. You have kept this kid out way too long. <laughs> I hope the Razor Waiter doesn't follow them home. <laughs> oh, boy. The grunts would have a big German Shepherd. Yes, I agree with that. That Buzz think is going to be a terrifying guard dog when it's just a big doofus that greets the intruders. I can totally see that. <laughs> I know he has school tomorrow. Yes, Buck is nice. Yes, Buck is nice, but Tank and uh, Buzz are not. But yeah, Buck is nice. All right, let's fast forward till they get home. They were gone for six hours. And Buzz bought some jewelry. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. So they actually aged while they were gone. Um, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, my God, y'all. It was Buck's birthday. It was Buck's birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, we can say that was his birthday dinner. Um, Buzz took him out for his birthday to dinner. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> Because I forgot. <laughs> no, they went out. Yeah, they had a great night. They uh, Buzz took him out to dinner. He got to choose whatever he wanted. And that's why he got to do, he got to get dessert for dinner. Buzz was like, you can get whatever you want. And yeah, he, well, he jump rope, but he also ate. He also ate dinner with his family. Rip is in college. Yeah, they had birthday dinner at the mall. So that was a nice birthday for him. Especially since he doesn't really have any friends besides... I don't think even think he's friends with Jill yet. Um, oh, thank you so much for the sub, Alex Jackson. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I don't think that was too bad. Even though we didn't remember it was his birthday, they remembered it was his birthday. <laughs> yes, Rip went to college. You can get anything you want, but not a cat. And here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Here we go. He's going to age up, y'all. <laughs> I yeah Buzz wouldn't let him invite Jill I agree I agree I think that was the best possible birthday we could have given him he got to go out with his dad and brother and have a nice time on the town got to eat some dinner okay here we go yes I will do a screenshot for sure a screenshot of him aging up out here on his own oh that's a good one it's going to be dark in this screenshot, but hey, at least we got it. At least we captured something, right? <laughs> there we go. That's going to be a bad screenshot. I'll get a better one. Okay, let's see what he's wearing. Um, It's actually not terrible. I mean, <laughs> it, it matches. He's wearing a vest and a t-shirt and some, some man prees there. I'm going to let him keep it. Okay, so Buck has a hidden popularity token, if you didn't know that. So we're going to make him a popularity sim. He also likes makeup and black hair, which I'm going to let him keep those likes. Or no, we should change it to blonde. We got to change it to blonde because we got to try to get him together with Jill. <laughs> so I don't mind doing that for their want, their uh, turn-ons and turn-offs. I will change them depending on who I want them to get with. So that's just 
what I do. <laughs> and let's see. His turn off is good at cleaning. He doesn't want anybody who's clean. <laughs> he doesn't like clean women. Oh, I don't know if he's straight. I don't know. He could be gay. That is true. Um, but just in case he's straight, I'm setting it to blonde. But he could, he might not be. That is true. So let's check, actually. So he's grown into a teen. And I want to get him inside so we can look at him better. Let's get him in the light. Let's get him inside in the light. And then we'll check his gender preference. Not you. Not you. You go here. And then he wants to be friends so we can start working on that relationship with Jill if he's straight. But even if he's not straight, he can still be friends with Jill. He can still be friends with her. So here he is. Here's little Buck, all grown up to a teen. He's not half bad. He doesn't look like his dad at all. He must look like his mom. Um, but I think he looks really cute and I'm going to let him keep the outfit he's wearing even though it's kind of weird. Hey, we're all weird as teenagers, right? You saw me in my Jinkos. So that's what he wants to wear. I'm going to let him wear it. <laughs> as long as it's not just totally stupid, like a pirate outfit. I try to let my Sims choose their own clothing. And as long as it's not just like completely mismatched and dumb. Um, so yeah. Yes, he does have eyelashes. He does. See him? You can see him there. Let's see. Yeah, he's got a nose on him. He's got a honker. Let's get a better screenshot of him in his vest <laughs> now that's a good screenshot that's a good screenshot and let's check his uh gender preference so buck gender preference show preferences okay he's straight he's low straight but he's straight so that's good we can keep working on that relationship with jill uh, because there's really nobody else for those two to be with. So I'm kind of glad he turned out straight and Jill turned out straight too. And let's get, we got to get him to bed though. Because he does have school tomorrow. He still never was able to do any of his homework. We're going to have him take a shower and get to sleep. And we'll, it's time to get rid of the toys. And we'll have to figure out what his hobby is, guys. I don't know what his hobby is. So we need to figure that out so we can see what kind of items we need to buy for him. Your it reminds you of your first sewing projects and not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, Jill really is perfect for him. They are perfect for each other. So I'm glad it's going to work out. I, I know it's going to work out between them. Now Tank, he really has no prospects. He tried to hit on a teenager at the mall. Oh, Tank. Not good. Not good, buddy. Um, and now he wants to be friends with Matthew and Blair. But he has no wants, really, for a female. Um, he wants to gain a skill point, though. So that's good. We can work on that. I want to have him go take a shower and then go to bed. And then not make bed. Go to bed. Oh, he can't. I guess he's not tired enough. And let's check on Buzz. Um, Buzz, you can just go to sleep, okay? No, don't go take a shower. I just sent the other kid in there. You can, you can take your shower in the morning. We need to put a shower down here. I think I'm just going to put a shower down here. Uh, they really need one more shower, I think. So let's just put a shower there, and then we can have uh, Buzz come down here and take a shower and then go to sleep. Okay. Everybody's sorted now. Everybody's sorted out. <laughs> Maybe he is, Mary. Maybe he is. He seems a little creepy to me. You feel like Tank is going to end up on some kind of register? <laughs> He was washing away his sins in the dog bath. <laughs> that was so funny. I knew there was going to be a Sim who would do that. But I just had to add the, the, the bathtub in there for realism. Because I feel like the pet store employees need to, you know, take care of the animals. That's all right, though. Putting in the uh, hacked computers was a really good idea. So I'm glad we thought of that. And I got to remember to mention that in my upload. No, the flirt was not autonomous. I made him do it. I made him do it because he thought she was hot. So I had him flirt with her and it did not work out. She was like, oh, you are creepy and too old for me. Get away from me. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't work out. But Buzz and Kristen seem to be getting along really well. So we might have something there. We might have something there. And she's a fortune sim. So she, I think she would be really good for him. 
and she would like that he makes you know good money and he has a nice big house i think that might work out i really do he's a registered woohoo offender <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. He just flirted. That's all he did. That's all he did. It was creepy, but it wasn't illegal. <laughs> yeah, Buzz has no hair. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's true, Mary. That's true. He, he was hitting on a teen girl and exposing himself repeatedly in public. <laughs> he was. He was. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, she's into athletics. That's right, Vampira. She's also into athletics. I think they make a good match. I do. I hope that he rolls some once for her. Oh, now he wants Buck to get a scholarship. Well, since he wants to have two best friends, even if he doesn't roll any once for her, I'm going to try to work on her being the second best friend and see if we can get something going there. Is everybody in bed? No, who's not in bed? You? Get in bed. All right, there we go. Putting on his pajamas at the mall. That was weird. That was weird. Let's save. Kristen rolls a want to marry a rich Sim at the moment she met Buzz. Then it was decided. Maybe she did. That would be really cool if she did. Melba should be his best friend. She may be. She may be eventually. No, he does not do well with rejection. No, he doesn't. He doesn't like being told no. He's a very powerful man. You have to remember, he is very high up in the military. He is a level 10 general. So he does not like being rejected or told no. He's used to having absolute power over everything in his life. So he gets very upset if somebody tells him no. He wants to go to work. All his needs are good. So what was his hobby again? Oh, boxing. So I'm going to have him go do a little boxing workout this morning since there's nothing else for him to work on. And in, in my sim spare time, if they if I can't fulfill any of their wants and their needs are all good, then I, that's when I have them work on their hobbies. And then let's see, Tank, you're doing good too, but you want to get a skill point. And he definitely, he needs a body skill point. So I'm going to have him come in here this morning and do a workout. Let's change the radio station. Let's switch it to, what would they be working out to? Um, what's a good workout music? Salsa? Techno? Let's put it on techno. <laughs> Go work out to some techno. <laughs> Big band. <laughs> That's true. He's cash poor, but he ha he's rich from his property. So, so that still, that still counts. And he's making pretty good money, too, at 550 And now uh, Tank is also earning money. And I forgot how much money did Tank earn. 230 yesterday. I'm trying to keep up with his money and keep it separate. So let's see. He, he's already earned 230 um, plus 25 So 255 I'm just trying to keep up with his monies, and we need to start a bank account for him. That way, when he moves out, um, he'll he'll have something to take with him. Because I think if Buzz gets remarried, his new wife is probably not going to want his adult son living with them. So we might have to move Tank out on his own. Um, Buck, what are you doing? You better wake up, boy. You better wake up. And he wants to make a friend. We've got to get him. Look, he's almost friends with Jill. Like, literally almost there. Um, oh, let's have him work on his homework. Let's have him work on that homework. Oh, look at his uh, pajamas. Those are so cute. Let me see. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's adorable. <laughs> All right, so let's have him go work on his homework. Yes, I have to keep everything super organized. It just feels better to me. Oh, you don't have any, he doesn't have any homework, does he? Because he just had his kids' homework. Okay, never mind. Today is his first day of junior high, so he doesn't have any homework. It's Groot. Aww. It's baby Groot. <laughs> it's so cute. I thought it was an alien, which I guess it kind of is, right? I don't know. I've never watched Guardians of the Galaxy, but I know of Groot. Oh, and I also forgot to update everybody's ages. So uh, Buzz is now 38, Tank is 19, and Buck is 12 years old now. 
And of course, Rip stays 18 until we get to him. Um, so really there's nothing we need. You know what? We need to start working on finding out what his hobby is. So we know it's not body. We know it's not fitness. It could be, we know it's not cuisine. It could be film and literature. Let's have him go read a book and see if that does anything. Yeah, I, th I feel like they should have given him more money too. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Um, but let's have him read and see if his hobby is film and literature or not. I'm going to keep an eye on these guys. They're doing fine. <clears throat> oh, did he get that body skill point? Okay, it's not film and literature. He got his body skill point, so he's done with that. And he can't stargaze, so I'll just let him do what he wants. Is he off work today? Oh, okay. Tank is off work today, so I think we need to use this time. Look at this. He wants to be friends with Barbara. <laughs> he really likes Barbara, y'all. Like, we're going to work on that. I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> and let's see. Buck's going to school. It's not film and literature. Games. Do we have anything where we could um, practice games? Maybe do a crossword puzzle? Or is that logic? Is that logic or games? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's But Tank is only 19. So if Barbara is like 17, it's not that bad. Not that bad. She, I, But I think... I think she's younger than that, though. <laughs> okay, so it's, I don't think it's whatever that, it's not that. Um, tinkering could be tinker. It's not nature. It's not nature. Could be, let's watch the, oh, he's got to go to school now. He's got to go to school. We'll try again later. In the meantime, we're going to get, oh, tank. No, 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 no. We're going to get weird. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go talk to Barbara. <laughs> We're going to go and fight Barbara over. Let's see if she probably won't even come over. Um, I don't think she will. Let's call Sim. Let's just see. <laughs> she's aged. She's aged at least one day. Hendrick, because she was on the lot at 6 p.m. So she's aged at least once. Oh, she's in school. That's right. She's in school. Never mind. He's not going to be able to invite her over. Okay, maybe we'll send him downtown and see if he can meet somebody else. Oh, she's she's not at school. She's not. She's ditching school today. Oh, my God. She's coming over. <laughs> she's coming over, y'all. This is getting... Okay, this is... He just wants to be friends with her. That's all. Okay. He just wants to be friends with her. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, y'all. This is getting kind of strange. And Tank, what are you doing with your life? I mean, Buzz, what are you doing today? You got to go to work in like 10 minutes. Okay, go ahead and stop. And that means Tank is going to be here alone with Barbara. Oh no, Johnny, you better get out of here. He's trying to he was trying to kick over the trash can. Okay, here's Barbara. Y'all, we gotta fix Barbara's shirt. Hold on, I can't stand this. Her shirt is clipping through her skirt. So I gotta change I can't stand that. We gotta change that. Oh no, 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 no. Gussie up um buy clothes. I'm just gonna get her a different shirt because I really like that skirt. Um so let's just get her a different shirt. It's a navy blue. Um, I wonder if we could get her a shirt like that. Let's see. I want to put the skirt on her. So I can see what it looks like together. <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen. <laughs> no. Okay, it's this skirt. No, it's not. That's wrong. Sorry, that's wrong. I don't know where the skirt is. It's probably way back here somewhere. <laughs> Barbara Young, I know. Oh, even her last name is Young. <laughs> it's so weird. 
but you know we can we can say that she's older and we can adjust her age a little bit okay so that skirt i think no it's not that's still the wrong one where is the skirt yeah that's true that's true she'll be she'll be older if we keep her on the line i don't even want to say the age out loud because i gotta put this on youtube <laughs> i'm not even gonna say it out loud <laughs> She's younger than him. We'll just say that. <laughs> 911. <laughs> okay, I think that's the skirt. Yeah, so I think this blouse will work. Um, I actually really like the white. Let's try it. No, not that. Oh, God dang it. I don't want that. I want the shirt. I want this white shirt. See, that's cuter. That doesn't clip through as much. She looks like a Victorian lady. <laughs> her shirt goes all the way up to her neck. She's dressed in extra modest today. <laughs> um, the Ibadi family. Okay. Okay, well, here she is. And then, you know what? Let's give her some makeup, too. Let's give her some makeup. She's actually kind of cute. Especially if she's going to be part of the story here. We need to make sure she looks good. She needs a modesty poncho. <laughs> yes, yes, Max. <laughs> oh, we're doing it. Well, I don't know. It's up to them, really. It's up to them what they want to do. We're going to see. Um, let's give her some eyelashes. She's trying to look older for Tank. She's trying to look older. <laughs> Let's give her some lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna give her like some gloss. Get, the sh get some shiny, there we go. All right, Barbara, do your best. <laughs> well, they're just Sims, so it's not that bad. It's not like they're real people. And we can make her any age we want. We can make her 17 or 18 if we want. And you gotta remember, Tank is only 19, so it's not that creepy. Okay, so come on. Come on, a troll and a frog had a baby. <laughs> yes, that's true. I could totally see Buzz pulling some strings to protect Tank if he got in trouble over this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, right now he's not doing anything wrong. He just wants to be friends with her. What is he gonna do? Oh, don't answer the phone right now. Go talk to Barbara. Barbara's so cute. That's what happens when Sandy and Gordon woo. -hoo. Yes, they're just friends. They're just friends. Did he greet her? He wants to be friends with her, so he's not going to do anything weird. He's just going to tell her a joke and talk to her. Oh, he doesn't... What, you don't want to talk to her? You're the one who wants to be friends with her. Barbara Sandy Broody's sister. <laughs> You're being judgy, but you were doing the same thing when you were 16. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know she looked at me. I saw that too. He does. He just wants to be friends with her. That's all. That's all he wants. So that's what we're going to do. If anything comes from it after that, we'll see. Um, but they're just, he's just talking to her right now. So it's okay. Um, he's telling her a joke. I guess chat again. I don't know. They, they can hardly do anything. They don't know each other very well at all. And, you know, maybe he's just, maybe he's going to wait until she's older, you know, until she's aged up to an adult. We'll see. That was the same age difference between Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> You wish that the Razor Waiter followed them home now. And um, let's see, what else can we do that's not weird? Tell her another joke. Tell her another joke. Who's that? Abji Cho. The techno is still going strong upstairs. <laughs> Okay, so they became friends and now he wants to meet someone new. Okay, I don't think he wants to pursue this. 
I don't think he wants to pursue this, y'all, okay? He's like, he was like, you know what? I thought you were pretty cute. I think he just was like, asked her how old she was, and he was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think he realized that this was not going to work. So we're going to say goodbye. <laughs> I know, I'm happy too. I'm happy too. If he wanted to be a creep, I was going to let him do it, but he decided that that was not for him. So he's going to say goodbye to her. And you know what? We have some time. We can send him back down to the mall and see if he can meet some older ladies. <laughs> yeah, he did. He realized it. He realized. He's like, you're really cool. You're a really nice girl and everything. But I think that you, you know, you're too young for me. So that's all right. Um, let's go ahead and go. Let's go downtown. Is there a door stuck open? Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Can I reset it? Does that work like it does in The Sims 3? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, well, I don't care. Let's walk uh, to Community Lot and have him go meet somebody else. I, I'm really happy that he realized it, that he was like, yeah, no, I better go meet somebody else. <laughs> Their door always does that in your game. It's the light. Oh, okay. I'll fix it when we get back. Let's go back to the strip mall and see if we can meet somebody else there. It looks like everything's working really well in the lot, in the strip mall lot. So I think I'll be good to upload it um, for anybody who wants to use it in their strange town or any town. Although it is decorated for a desert town with cacti and stuff. Watch him flirt with an elder next, yeah. Yeah. I hope he meets somebody his own age, yes. I'm, I'm really happy that he turned that situation around and said, no, no. I gotta go meet me an adult lady. <laughs> oh my god, it's already... We only have 15 minutes left? Oh, jeez. This is going by so fast. That's okay. We're gonna get through this at least. We didn't even get through their whole round, guys. We did not even get through their whole round. We're gonna have to play, um, play them again next time. Next Saturday. I just love playing. I love Strange Town Saturday so much. It goes by so fast. <laughs> it does. I didn't even realize. I thought I still had like an hour left. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if we can at least get Tank to meet somebody. Because that means Buzz would have met somebody and Tank would have met somebody and Buck would have met somebody. And in our next stream, we can work on their relationships um, if they want to, which they usually do. Okay, is that a teen? You guys tell me. Is that a teenager? I think it is. Okay, we're not going to talk to her. Um, there's Chloe, but I don't think Chloe would be good for Tank at all. Who's this? Hold on, who's this? Who's this? Caitlin Goss. Okay, she looks like an adult. Isn't she? <laughs> the cashiers are teens, yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm going to be doing a Sims 3 stream soon. But I don't want to tell you guys an exact date because I want to make sure I'm ready for it. I think she's an adult. I think she's an adult. Okay, let's talk to her. Oh my gosh. Um, greet Caitlin. You you can tell by looking at them usually if they're teens or adults. It's just you have to I have to zoom in on them personally. Is he gonna go greet her in the office? Tank likes the fish lips. <laughs> Um, so what I kind of wanted to do with The Sims 3 is I have a couple ideas for what I want to do for the stream. What is he doing? Admiring her. Oh, my. Oh, no. They have no chemistry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank you for... Oh, I got to hydrate. Let me do a hydrate for sweet ass bunny. I got a meme. I see your meme and we will end with a meme. And I got a follow. Thank you, J May. Thank you. Oh, man. He does not have any chemistry with her, so that's too bad. And now he doesn't want to meet anybody new. We're just going to have to keep trying. Now he doesn't want to meet anybody, so I'm just going to let him do whatever. Um, What is he doing? Oh, he's going to go play catch with her. <laughs> what are his turn-ons, y'all? I don't even know. What are his turn-ons and turn-offs? Um, he, oh, he likes hard worker and makeup. Oh my God, she doesn't have any makeup on. Hold on, hold on. And he doesn't like brunettes. Where did she go? 
let's give her some makeup and see if that improves because we've never uh, made her over before. Let's see. Gussie up. That might help. That might help. <laughs> I make over all the townies too, and I just haven't ever seen her before, so we didn't get to make her over. Um, they they usually always need need some help. That's too dark on her skin. Let's see, what else do we have here? That's better. And let's give her some eyelashes. Um, let's give her a little eyeshadow. That looks good on her. And let's give her a little lip lipstick. Let's see. Mm, I don't like that color on her. Let me keep looking. There, that looks cute. That looks cute enough. She's got makeup. <laughs> she she might be your older sister. Okay, now what are they doing? Let's check. They might have to do another interaction before it updates. I'm not sure. Or it may not update. They That may not be enough to make him like her. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to have him talk to her again just so we can see. Um, go chat with her real quick. Come on, Caitlin. Uh, there's Jenny. Jenny. Jenny went out. She was like, she had to get away from the twins. She had to go out by herself. Paul must be at home. He's talking to her about money. She might be turned off by him, yeah. That's true. That's true, Shannon. Um, yeah, I don't think they, I don't think that, they don't like each other. So, that's too bad. We're gonna keep looking. We gotta keep looking for Tank to find a partner. Oh, he's gonna go get a drink. He wants a drink out of the, uh, the machine. Okay, go ahead. Um, get yourself an orange soda. <laughs> And there's really nobody else here but teenagers. It's lagging a little bit. Because I'm streaming at the same time. Who is that? Renee Andrews. Hold on. Who's that? Oh, he doesn't want to meet anybody, so I can't force him to. I think she is definitely an adult. We have made her over before. But oh, well. Oh, well. It just wasn't Tank's time to meet somebody yet. I love orange soda, but I try not to drink it because it's really unhealthy. <laughs> There is Chloe, but I know Chloe's just going to pump and dump. Chloe's going to pump him and dump him. <laughs> I know Tank's in his element. <laughs> the unsavory charlatan. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed your screenshot. Well, you know what? Let's take a screenshot of him sitting on the bench being lonely. At least we can do that. We can do that much for him. Look how sad. He came down here. Didn't get any love. He just got himself an orange soda. <laughs> oh man. Well, if he if he ends up meeting Chloe, that's fine. Oh my gosh, she's coming over here. Nope, she's just walking by. She's going in the pet store. <laughs> no, Tiffany, go. No, get out of here. Get out of here, Tiffany. You're too young. <laughs> get out of here. I saw you scoping out Tank. No, he's going to talk to her. <laughs> he's going to talk to her. No, that's not Rip. That's Matthew Howe. He just has the same hair as Rip. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Look. Did you see that? He thought Chloe was hot. <laughs> he thought Chloe was hot. I, I saw that. <laughs> Oh, boy. Chloe got with Buzz in your game? No, don't you dare go in that bathtub. You get out here. You get... I'm sending you home. Okay, you're going home now. If, if all you're going to do is try to get in the bathtub. I was hoping he would just autonomously uh, greet some more ladies, but it's not happening. I think Chloe left, too. I think I saw her leave. Well, I mean... Maybe next time he wants to meet somebody, it'll be Chloe. Because he does think she's hot, and she is the first adult that he has done that for. So, 
<laughs> I like Chloe staying single too, but that doesn't mean that she can't have a relationship with him. You know, she's gonna have her flings. No, don't you? Okay, no, you're going home now. You're going home. Um, let's see. Walk home because uh, Buck is Buck is gonna be getting home soon too. Too bad, too bad it wasn't Caitlyn. We tried, we tried. <laughs> I know, and she never got to meet Marion either. Well, in the next stream, we will be back here with the Grunt family again because I believe we still have a day left with them. So we can cross our fingers that we can find somebody for Tank. And if not, we'll have to wait till next stream. Unless when we get to the singles family, somebody wants to get with him in the singles family, then we could do that. And then I also hope that Buzz has some kind of wants for Kristen. And oh, yes, he wants to be friends with Kristen, y'all. He wants to be friends with Kristen. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I forgot Buck was a teenager. Never mind. I said Buck was going to be coming home at three, but I lied. And he, let's take care of his needs real quick. Um, let's take this homework inside. We still don't know what his hobby is. We still don't know. I think that's his kid's homework. Tank and Aaron, yeah. I know I always forget poor Buck. I do. <laughs> Nina got it to 83. I don't know how old my oldest Sim was. I don't remember that. Okay, Buck, get up here, take care of your needs. And ha he needs to have fun. We gotta figure out this hobby. I haven't forgotten your meme, uh, Laura. We're gonna do that very last. So I just wanted you to know. And let's see, hobby, hobby, hobby. Okay, so it's not cuisine, it's not film and literature, um, it's, could be tinkering or science. It could be tinkering or science. So after he goes to the bathroom, let's have him tinker and see if it's tinkering. <laughs> He's been home for two hours. Two of your Sims died? Did they really in the uh, death and childbirth? I have never had it happen. Okay, it's not tinkering. Um, let's see, science? Let's have him go watch TV and um, I think they get science enthusiasm from the weather channel, don't they? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, it's not science. Oh, yes it is, it's science. Okay, his hobby is science, so let me write that down. And it's gonna have to be stargazing like his brother. They can bond over stargazing because I have no other science hobbies that it could be. I mean, it's either stargazing or if he went into the science field, then it could be like the biotech station or something like that. I'm really disappointed in how few science activities we have for hobbies. I really am. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save here. And let's go find a me. Oh, we got a screenshot. Wait, what happened? Did I do the screenshot? Yes, I did. <laughs> that was nine minutes ago. <laughs> Are watching weather yeah I guess it could be weather hey maybe we'll make it weather <laughs> we can make his hobby weather since he actually learned his hobby from watching the weather channel he got real interested in the weather channel and I think there's a weather reward he could use or something I don't know I'll make it weather we'll figure it out <laughs> I like that idea because it's something it's something <laughs> he looks terrified all right, so let me find a meme for us to end the stream on. This was a really fun stream, guys. I had a lot of fun. I love playing Strange Town. So let me see. Let me see. And we didn't have any babies, and it was still super fun. <laughs> or any relationships at all. That's crazy. I think this is our first stream where we didn't have an actual relationship or a baby at all. Wait, where are my memes? Where are my memes? Let's see what we've got. Let's see. Okay, we looked at that one. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's one from Jet Set. 
We had Melba. We had Melba. That's true. No bench woohoo. <laughs> okay. Um, every Sims 4 trailer. How the gameplay world looks in the trailer versus when you actually buy the pack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Jadset. Thank you. Thank you. Let me poop on that. And I watch, I did that one. I did that one. Okay, this is me playing The Sims 2 and ACR starts doing its thing and I hear a baby jingle. <laughs> it's hard to see, but I think she's got a mouth going on. I don't hear the baby jingle, so I don't relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you for the memes, guys. And shout out to N Nina Caliente with Dawn's baby. <laughs> okay, good shout out, Gray. Thank you. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here, guys. Um, it's been a really fun three hours. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, tomorrow, don't forget, um, if you are a YouTube channel member at the live simmer level or above, or if you are a tier two or three Twitch sub, Tomorrow we have our members only live stream and we're going to be playing again in Edgewood and we are playing Leslie and the Bakery. So I'm very excited for that. And if you're not a member, don't worry. The playback will be available for everybody the following day. And also here in a little bit, I'm going to have a uh, Wednesday's stream put back on YouTube. So if you like watching the stream playbacks on YouTube instead of Twitch, you can uh, follow my second channel, Pleasant Streams, and I post all the Twitch streams on there. Also, I've got a new video coming up on Monday for you guys, which is part two of the video that I published on Thursday. And I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I don't really have, don't really have anything else. I'll see you guys in the Discord. Keep those memes and commercials coming. <laughs> Paralyzed, I wish. I wish it was Paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> all right i hope you guys all have a great weekend and i will see you very soon thanks again for watching oh one more thing if you're a new subscriber to the channel don't forget to connect your twitch account with the discord and i'll put the link here for the discord if you're if you haven't joined us and because i make um, bonus videos for my twitch subscribers so go in there and you can get those bonus videos all right guys have a great weekend that's really it this time <laughs> see you soon <laughs>